Hello, hello! It is Thursday night, and uh, hi, I'm here. It's good to see you. Uh, it is Arudai here with March of the Dragon Queen. Sorry, I missed you guys this morning for Secrets of the Frost Maiden. Uh, we pushed that to next week because we didn't have all the players, but we are here tonight to take care of you, to perform for you, and you'll notice all the beautiful faces are here, and uh, we're very excited. Uh, you guys have been tuning in, you've been telling me you're enjoying the show so far, we're going to keep delivering what we've been delivering, and uh, yeah, yeah, so thanks for thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'm happy to be your local Dungeon Daddy, and uh, we're going to get yeah. this show kicking off. Oh, by the way, look at the Dungeon Daddy shirt. You know who gave me this shirt? You know who called me Dungeon Daddy when they sent me this shirt? My favorite Fed shirt, Michaela. That's who. Very kind of her. Very kind of her. Um, and let's let's go around and uh, you know what? Uh, let's talk to another man, often called Daddy. Mice, what's going on? Well, first I have to say, please never say Dungeon Daddy like that again. It was and I. <laughs> yeah, you. I grimaced a little bit. And way you, too much. You drew it out. I mean, that was a lot. Uh, well, I so, have unfortunate news for you, Moss. Before you finish your intro, you see, I have a little thing that's going on. You might be watching in the in the chat. There's a fundraiser going on to, to fix my audio, right? Get a better mic that doesn't cut out all the time because people complain about it. Uh, and I unfortunately made a pact with chat that I'm going to continue calling myself the Dungeon Daddy. And I'm going to wear this shirt no. every single time. I'm even going to make a Dungeon no, Daddy are emote. Don't be happy if you just don't. Mm. Well, as soon as it gets funded, Dungeon Daddy goes away. Uh, so just saying, oh. if you really hate hearing me say that, there is a way to make it stop. But if you love it, if you love it, just don't donate at all. Continue, Moss. Well, what is the goal? What yeah. is the goal of this real quick? Just so <laughs> J -J I can check my bank account. <laughs> J -J uh, it's about 52%, so I think there's like 600 left, something like that. Got it. Very good. Well, as it turns out, um, I believe the Dungeon Daddy is behind the return of the Dragon Queen, uh, the Dungeon Daddy himself. And uh, I haven't quite worked out all the details yet, but uh, I know the Dungeon Daddy is behind all of it. Uh, and that's for you, Brian. So, Benny to me. Thank you, Brian C. Benny to Moss, if he can work up a good anti-Dungeon Daddy conspiracy theory. So there you go. I'm I'm actually going to work on that. I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect the dots and uh, cross the T's and dot the I's. And uh, yeah. And uh, I do believe earlier John Gordon gave uh, our our local Dungeon Daddy uh, Benny as well. Don't tell him that. I'm not supposed <laughs> to know about. That. Did we now? He doesn't need it. April Fools, uh, we're just kidding. Uh, I saw a mug. I saw a white mug. What did I see? Did I see right? Mm, <laughs> no, no, you didn't see anything. Uh, let me see. So, oh, yeah, you heard Sebi. She said white is right. She said it. <laughs> she, she did say that. Thank you, John Gordon. Thank you, Brian C. And thank you, Hayden, for uh, remaining a member. We appreciate that. Oh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Freddie, I forgot my banana, so I will have to fetch that. Um, but yeah, to finish my intro, yes, I am Moss, and uh, I am playing Yonstamos, and I'm very excited to be here. And that's it. That's all I got. Very nice. <laughs> Speaking of very nice, actually, that's fucking nobody on this panel. Uh, but you know what we'll do? We'll say hi to Sevi. Hi, Sevi. He called me nice, you guys. Hello, everybody. I literally everybody. just said there was nobody here. No, nope, no. Nope. He tried I'm to hurt. say, you, 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 you want to know somebody who is nice, and he thought about me, just saying. Deep no. down, he knows I am nice. Yeah, you did pause for a little while, so whatever you think mm -hmm. you said, I think you said it in your head. No. <laughs> I got to be honest. I was oh, expecting boy. me to be the one called very nice, because I pointed out he got a, a Benny, but apparently <laughs> that's not good enough. <laughs> No, because no. you, yeah, you're still on my bad list for instantly putting get elked in the chat on the first session. I still so don't know what that I'm means. Holding told I'm holding me. a grudge. I'm holding a grudge. Oh my god! Nobody's but told thank me what it means. Shadow Warden, I appreciate it. I appreciate the bunny. And uh, hello, chat. I just saw a rude eye take a sip from the queen mug. I saw it really well here, so I think he needs to show it up. Oh no! Yes. It's just, yes. a, it's, just a, it's just a blank white See? look. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yeah. There you go. 
Uh, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. <laughs> Here he is yeah. drinking out of it. Yeah. It tastes so much worse this way. So much worse. And maybe add some whiskey to it. It'll help. You might need to. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go make yourself an Irish coffee there. I should make myself an Irish coffee. I agree. <laughs> what? How am I a discount? He's a discount me. Discount Valrock? No, 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 no. He's a discount me. He came second. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. Let's say hello to the discount me. Valrock, what's going on, man? I will not answer to discount you. <laughs> <laughs> I said Valrock. Don't. Okay. Then. Don't go after my brother. As long as, it's a, as long as it's in a separate sentence, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm Valrock. Uh, or Velrock Art Miniatures. Uh, I am playing the good old Richard Crispin, the dullard of the group. And uh, I'm ready to kick some some fake butt, I guess, since we're at the festival. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. A speech oh, effort. man. The better Rudai. Oh, come on. What the hell, Chet? He's not even been here, what, two weeks? I've been here for 30 years, good sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 35 Be years. Be nice. Mm -hmm. Richard and Cinnamon. It's like the two Perkins. Richard and Cinnamon Toast are great. Okay. Okay. It's true. Um, well, fantastic. Glad to have you here, Valrock. And then uh, somebody else who's only been here for about two weeks. Let's say hi to Commander N. How are you doing, everyone? I'm Commander N. I'm the nobody who showed up out of nowhere. So here I am. Nobody and... who showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> and we're grateful for it. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I will say I, I did get a haircut today so I could look nice. You know, I mean... I'm not going to be in the running for Beauty Queen. That's between Sevy and Moss, but I, I might get the <laughs> nicest dude here at least. Damn. Damn. He just uh, called Moss a girl. Well, I thought we were wow. having the whole Sevy and wow. the better Sevy thing going on there. Wow. A man could call yeah. another man beautiful Sevy. Thank you, lady. lady. Man, if I knew I was in the rubbing, I'd, sh I'd show a little bit more cleavage. Damn. Do a little, you should do a little Britney <laughs> Spears God, action with no that more. shirt, you know what no I mean? No more. No. Oh, God. Try to, try to touch your elbows behind your back, Moss. You're making Dungeon Daddy feel awkward. Oh, my God. Ow, oh, it hurts. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you for that. And speaking of cleavage, we've got JJ Knight. What's going on, man? No, I do enjoy the view of good cleavage from time to time. So I'll, I'll agree with you on that one. But other than that, I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I am excited to play Elias this evening to see uh, what this battle of uh, High Hill is like and what tricks that um, story thing is going to happen as we then become the heroes of this town, you know, by the end of this episode, for sure, definitely. Nothing bad is going to happen, but, you know. Nothing bad ever happens. On the off chance. There's no, a no, lot no. of uh, fun, delightful exposition in the first couple sections of this. Lots of character building. You might even get to play a few festival games today. It's going to be it's gonna be great. Um, awesome. But yeah, yeah, glad to have you guys here and uh, looking forward to what happens yeah. next. Well, speaking of festival, I was looking at my inventory and I just have some spear out of nowhere. Don't look at that. Ignore <laughs> the new thing in your inventory for now. Uh, we will talk about that I was that just wondering why, why I had more weight than normal. I was like, yeah, oh, we can't do that. We're over encumbered now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just pretend that's not there for the moment. You can change it to, like, store it or something. I'll explain why that's there later. Okay, fair um, enough. All right, so we do have some bennies to give out today. Um, so keep the bennies you already have. I'm not going to reset. Um, because we didn't really have uh, any opportunity to use them last game. Um, but also, uh, I can see Chrysantha's already yelling at me. Um, <laughs> Commander, you get two more bennies at the start of the session today. Velrock, you get two more. And hey, I get two more. That is good news. Uh, let's see. I'm sad I don't have a sheet, so when I give myself a benny, nobody sees it lame <laughs> uh and then all of you 
get an extra Benny from your character creation dues. So go ahead and add yourself one more of those Bennies. Ah, and I, I do get one more from a uh, Mr. Brian C. Brian C., I will have a full dissertation on why uh, Dungeon Daddy is behind everything. So two questions here. Then that is two Bennies then? Is that what I'm understanding so far? Is that the count? Or you? is it just everybody gets... Well, I get one extra because I'm young. I start off with one every session. Um, yeah, and so then... we didn't. We didn't. You don't have to give yourself any more for that because we didn't use our bennies last time. Okay, cool, um, cool. Uh, so that, basically, that, that's you still what have I'm. That the, yeah, trying to. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, so whatever I we have now have plus okay. what I just told you. Okay, cool, um, perfect. Is where you'll be. At. Just making sure, because <laughs> uh, I was going to be like every think... dice I roll is going to use a benny tonight. <laughs> if if that I all kept going. One more to give out. Uh, <laughs> what is today? Okay, and. All of you get a conviction. Ooh. Ooh. And that was courtesy of uh, the the uh, the Muppetosis <laughs> Mike Money Fund, by the way. Ooh. Um, oh, anything you, you donate there counts as three times the benefit. So if you buy one benefit, like a Benny, you actually get to give out three of them, for example. Uh, so just another little incentive for you to consider out there if the Dungeon Daddy thing is not uh, enough for you. So what I'm hearing oh. is if JJ uh, donates that oh. $600 to finish your mic fund, it's like 1800 What does that get us? He could basically buy you guys a ton of convictions or a bunch of miracles, uh, whatever he feels like he wants to do, if he's, hmm. he's going to roll like that. <laughs> um... All right, so let's uh, let's talk about uh, last episode and what happened in last episode. Uh, so you guys all finally met for the first time. We had a lot of uh, jolly good R RP at the very beginning with you guys getting to know each other, and uh, we got to experience uh, JJ making water as you guys all happened upon him. And you had your conversations, met each other, and came into Vogler when you got there. Um, it was pretty busy. People were getting set up for what appears to be a festival that's going to be occurring. Um, and the guard at the gate lets you know that if you go to the Brass Crab, uh, that is where the, uh, the the funeral would be taking place. Uh, so you guys went there and you met a whole bunch of people. Um, you met uh, Becklin, who is a knight of Salamnia who, who used to go adventuring with, um, with Ispen. Um, and uh, you also met Cudgel, who also used to go adventuring with Sven, but uh, she now is uh, living the mercenary life, commanding a, a regiment called the Ironclad Regiment. Um, and uh, you got to meet a young snob whose name you never got, but uh, he was a bit of a heckler during when you guys were doing your your speeches about uh, what you know what it's been meant to you in your life. Um, and you also met um, a blue a blue elf lady um whose name i'm blanking on right now but uh you talked to her a little bit she kind of said hey i i used to be a performer for ispin and you felt like there was maybe more to her story but you didn't pry she sang a beautiful song um and then they saw him off they they put him on the pier and um said some final words and he, he was off down the river uh and then becklin said hey tomorrow um ispin left something for you a gift if you'd come by Thornwall Keep, um, I'd, I'd like to give that to you. And you guys are like, sure, sure, I'll do that. And so the next morning, uh, you guys went to head out. You ran into a man named Derrett, Derrett Highwater, and uh, he happens to be um, an attendant for for um, for Becklin. And he's like, hey, come with me. I gotta go pick up the, the, the pies first, and then we'll go back up there. And uh, you talked to him a little bit, asked him a few questions. He told you about what the festival was all about. He told you about the reenactment of the Battle of High Hill that'll be happening. Uh, and then you went to Thornwall Keep, you had some breakfast there, um, and then Becklin arrived with a gift, which was Green Shield, the shield um, that Ispen Green Shield, his namesake, was from. Um, and he said that he would leave it to you if you guys agreed to honor him by entering the, uh, the reenactment of the Battle of the High Hill in his honor. And uh, you guys said at least one of you would. You agreed to that, so... Yeah, I believe I took the shield and said that I would do it. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that's where we left off. Just to clarify, we did get the young man's name. The problem is I'm taking notes in character, so I have written down Beckless Buford Bungalow the Younger. 
I don't think that's right. Uh, <laughs> no. Bacaris the Bacaris. Bacaris. Yeah. Oh, okay, you did get his name. Okay, you did get his name. For some reason I thought that. is younger. Yeah, we didn't Bacaris get his dad's younger. name. I have it as Bacaris, Bacaris younger, idiot guy in red. That's, that's my notes. You say inbred? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that might be true too. Well, he's probably inbred as well. But uh, just a couple of reminders. One, Serenscape 2 adventure cards. Oh, don't you worry. Serenscape will get plugged. Um, I guess I can give you adventure cards. I guess that's a thing I could do. Yeah, he's wearing a Dungeon Daddy shirt today. There ain't nothing he missing. He's not missing anything. The only thing he he's needs now is right. a new balance. Dungeon Daddy never misses. And Dungeon Daddy always plugs. Serenscape. Oh my um, god, you guys! <laughs> What? Somebody Serenscape. needs to clip that. Flip. Somebody he wants to clip that. He wants Serenscape. What do you mean? I don't understand. Uh, 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 there was a pause. There was a pause right there. I had to think about the name because I, I always get it wrong. No, I still got no. it wrong. See? That's what happens. That's what happens. Uh, all right. So you guys should have cards now. There you are. Is there a place we can keep track of the convictions so I don't have to remember it in my brain? Yeah, at the top of your sheet. There's I a spot that says convictions. Where yeah, on the main word traits, oh, like the first, yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to click on the word. Oh, yes. I don't waver. Nice. It's siren. It's siren. I got it. I got it. Look, he doesn't look. got it. You can make it go away. I told you how. All right, Dungeon Daddy mm. can't help where he pauses his lines. That's all I'm saying. Um, oh my god. That All sounds right. like you're, you're oh my God. Else the <laughs> get some line set up back, you know. Well, this coffee's awful. Um, <laughs> it's, it's all the mug. It's got to be the mug. Um, oh, there was something I was going to say. Oh, minor details. Um, minor details. Uh, we learned that... Um, uh, God, i got to look at the names. I'm still getting used to them. Uh, we learned that... Jan Stamos, who's a bit of a conspiracy theorist, uh, he already hammered out at least two or three of them last session. Um, and uh, we know that uh, my queen, her visions sometimes are not they're exactly... Perfect. Yes, they're absolutely perfect. In fact, <laughs> she saw a man watering his garden and instead found him peeing in a bush. Um, we know that... The visions Richard... are fine, her view of them isn't. Richard mm -hmm. is not only illiterate, uh, but he's illauditory. Like, he hears things literally, too. That was interesting. Uh, and QT likes to steal food. I don't know uh, what either of those words mean. Yeah, see, <laughs> there you go. Uh, I think we also learned, I don't think we learned this the first session, but we learned at this one that Cutie's name is Cinnamon Toast. Toast, yes. Did we learn in the last session? Yeah, in the first What's one. Wrong with yeah. that? Did we learn in the first one? Okay. No, yeah. I just, hey, I'm just saying, uh, in case anybody's keeping track, that does not add up. Um, I think that's it. So yes, if you hear any audible sounds, music, sound effects, all of those above combined, just know that we're getting those from Sirenscape.com. Um, it's a place you can go online. It's like an online soundboard with all of the auditory needs you could need to, to make the experience more immersive for your players. They even have like fully packaged sound sets to complement the official modules out there for Wizards of the Coast and Paizo, by the way. Um, and it, it breaks everything down, uh, chapter by chapter, scene by scene. Every single sound effect that's described in the book and even a little bit more is there so that it feels like they are there in the moment as they are role-playing and experiencing um, all of the different story elements that uh, they encounter. Not a sponsorship, but so long as I let you know, hey, that's where we're getting our sound effects from, they won't copyright strike our channel, and hey, we appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's go over to the swoosh. All right, you guys should be able to see Vogler now. And uh, we mm -hmm. left off. With you guys, just leaving Thornwall Keep. So let me. Pull up oh, that's right. I was thinking we were in the Ass Grab Tavern. But you're <laughs> right, we did go to the keep. Yep. Ass Grab. God damn it! I was like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" And then I, I did the sound in my head. Okay. Insane. <laughs> Insane. Uh, all right. Let me open this one and this one. All right, so as you guys head down, um, I'll go ahead and get uh, Sirenscape playing for you here. 
Here we go. Uh, so you start heading back into town. And colorful banners and paper decorations shaped like kingfishers decorate the village circle. Temporary stalls sell food and colorful crafts, and in the center of the circle, an ancient tree provides shade for happy picnickers. Uh, I just realized I muted the wrong one. There we go. Um, from a temporary stage, a band of local musicians brings a spirited song to a close as Mayor Raven Uth Vogler takes the stage. Welcome, friends, the mayor begins, raising her arms high. Welcome to the Kingfisher Festival. Cheers and applause fill the circle, and the mayor smiles widely. Today is not a day of not only revelry, but also reflection. We are all here thanks to the courage of heroes who came before us. Let us honor our founders, our family, and all those who can't be here to celebrate today. Enjoy your festival, Vogler, with good spirits, good times, and good friends. And look to the Kingfishers for good luck. An energetic round of cheers follows the mayor's words, and with that, the Kingfisher Festival is officially underway. And uh, I got a beautiful little visual of this for you guys, if you want to see it. Look at this. Look at this. Chad saying music's a little loud. You know what, it's Chad? A little you're more... a little loud. As soon as that music started, I, I got really worried. I think you guys are going to need a leash for Richard. Those two dudes' that. beards are going to get all tangled <laughs> up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No. All right, there you go, Chant. I turned it down a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, the Kingfisher Festival, and there's all sorts of fun things that you guys can go around and do if you're interested. Uh, do you guys go about the Kingfisher Festival and find fun things to do? Yeah, yeah. I think Elias is yeah. uh, very giddy and excited and probably is like stopping almost at every booth kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I want to see what's wrong. Spend so much money. Oh, uh, do they happen to have that one game with the bottles? Uh, the ones you knock over? Game? With the ball? You see quite a few things. There's a fish catch, for example, uh, where people are all gathering around and catching fish as like a, a sort of a contest for that. And yes, you do see something where you can go over there, you can take a kind of like a little bag they've made, a little happy sack, you could throw it at some bottles to try to knock them over. Uh, there's another area where you can try to drop the clown into a tank by throwing a hacky sack at one of those things. Uh, they even have a few, like, strongman competitions where um, you can try to show off your strength by trying to hack through a piece of wood in one swing. I'm having a bit of sensory overload here. I don't know what's happening. We, wh what's going on? What do we do? Uh, whatever you want. Quick, thank you, Aiden, for the Benny. Appreciate it. I will use it. Maybe at one of these carnival games. Uh, perhaps Cinnamon Toast would like to go to the petting zoo. I think she would very much enjoy that one. What's a petting zoo? <laughs> oh, she'll love it. Trust me. Okay. Where's that at? Oh. It's right over there. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to spend a Benny for it. <laughs> oh, I just gave myself a Benny. <laughs> wow. You spent a Benny for there to be a petting zoo? Yeah, just right over there, right in the direction I pointed. Wow, I'm going to give you a two for one, Moss. Not only is there a petting zoo, but something else catches your eye just past the, the petting zoo. An old time passion of yours. The Phallic Frenzy Eating Contest. Yes, it is a contest with nothing but phallic-shaped objects such as bananas, corn on the cob, and all sorts of other delectable hot dogs and sausages. It looks fantastic. Oh, my. Oh. Wow. Be still, my beating heart. <laughs> I go to the petting zoo. Uh, uh, are we entering an eating contest? I mean, I only ate eight meat pies. I said my... My record was 15. I still got some... Well, you should probably take stuff. a break on that. You're going to explode your whatever the thing is on the inside that holds all the food. I, nah, no, it's fine. I think you should I think you should try the hammer. 
Yeah. Oh, they have one of those. They have. I have. They have a hammer, and if if it's something that it allows betting, I could, uh, I could hex you so you do better. I mean, I'm pretty strong. My quick net would be cheating. <laughs> Performance and well, well, we'll have to see if there's any rules on it though, because if there's no rules, then cheating is allowed. I mean, this is like a, kind of just like a family-friendly <laughs> carnival. I mean, I don't think we need to like, you know, use our powers or anything for this. Could I? Wait, could I spend... For... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, is this for bragging rights or are there prizes? Some of these contests do indeed have prizes. The petting zoo doesn't. See? The petting zoo has no prizes. Just a bunch of sheep, horses, chickens. Ducks, well, like well, I think Elias yeah, would like to free. start at the fishing game. Hmm. The oh, deep state doesn't fish want fish. you to know, but the ducks at the yes. petting zoo are free. Sure, sure. So let's uh, let's. Okay, so you're going to the petting zoo. You have a lot of fun there. Uh, I don't want to split up. I don't want to split up. If, if you guys want to do something else, I, yeah, I, I can do that later. Oh, I'll, I'll accompany you to the petting zoo, um, and then afterwards, I'm gonna go to the. Phallic shaped food eating contest. Well, Fantastic. so what are we doing first then? And just go to the petting zoo. It's right there. I well, mean, we can see all the attractions. It's not like that. Yeah, yeah. You what just can't have a opening door separately or anything like that. No, I mean, oh, mind you, Richard can't read, so he's going to have to take visual cues to figure out where to meet you guys. Uh, but, you know. Dick, well, I, don't well, you well, worry. I'll be right here. The, the, this says the phallic shaped eating contest is like an hour away. So, I mean, we can like have some fun and then we can all meet there. Yeah, it gives me some time to walk off these pies and it's settled <laughs> a little bit. I would yeah. like to spend a Benny to add a table next to the eating contest that is uh, several scholars discussing different theories they have about the world. <laughs> Done! Spend that Benny. Oh. All right, there is now a uh, philosopher's table. Uh, where the highest education of Vogler, which I'm just going to say might not be incredible, are uh, just a discussing bunch of old guys. philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> but, just, just um, like three or four old guys that just, this is the conversation they have at the Brass Crab every day. They just are doing it outside now. Uh, yeah, allow they're a little more sober you. when they do it this time. Yes, yes, please, Jan. Talk to these nice men. I'm sure you have much wisdom to share with them. Ah, see, what you want to do is you want to focus more on holistic medicine, herbs, uh, certain types of uh, funguses have certain antibacterial properties. You don't want to focus on the uh, the big conglomerations that focus on your health. And I go on ad nauseum. Wow. R Richard is like squinting at you. You can tell he's probably starting to get a headache. So what you're saying is that potions aren't good. Yeah, why don't you uh, uh, give me a um, persuasion? Is it persuasion? Yeah, give me a persuasion roll, Jan Stamos. Ah. Can you just use regular sized words? <laughs> Finally, I do have a plus one because I'm quite attractive. <laughs> oh. You almost way, got I... like a one and one. Wow. No, you almost got enough, a critical apparently. one. Wow. Uh, um, I see my words were too big. Uh, uh, let me dumb it down a little. Yeah, they're not they're not buying into the whole big pharma conspiracy. <laughs> um, they they sort of just missed you out of hand, honestly, and uh, kind of go back to talking amongst themselves while you just kind of ramble and they're not listening anymore. Um, but you they're try. Talking conspiracies You'll someone next to a petting zoo. Of course, they're not in my league. <laughs> and I did update everything, by the way, so it should no longer triple post all your shit. Um, it looks like it's working so far, so that's good stuff. Very nice. Um, yeah, awesome. And um, I want to going... throw. Oh, I... oh, I want to make sure the clown falls in the water. You want to make sure the clown falls in the water. How are you going to do that? Well. I, I want to participate in the activity to see him drown. Oh. Okay, I thought you were like, wow. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I thought, I thought that's what you said was the purpose Good of the Good character, Stevie. Good character. Not, not, no, no. Just that to dunk him, not to drown him. Behind. Hold his head down under the water. 
<laughs> God damn. <sighs> All right, yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me an athletics roll um, as you throw your bean bag at the target. Okay. Uh, I will try my best. My athletics sucks. You guys nope. are terrible Almost at there. carnival games. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll give it a shot. We haven't gotten to me yet, so I'm not worried about it. I gotta still do the fishing one, and then the strongman one, and then I'm gonna win the eating contest. Nope. And then I'm gonna puke on the battlefield. It's fine. Wow. You know what? Derrett uh, sees you guys miss, and uh, he's gonna walk over and try it himself. I, I was really good at this To last be year. honest... I assumed that because I was getting close to it, the clown would see I have no shadow and fall them like fall by themselves because of how scared they were. That yeah, was Benny, gonna be my you assumption. Give me a Benny, I mean, with a Benny, happen. anything's possible. Okay, I'll I'll throw a Benny for that. So as I'm throwing, as I'm throwing the really poor, <laughs> pretty poor throw, he notices I have no shadow. All right, so the clown's just looking around. He's smiling at everybody, so happy. The children are laughing. And uh, he sees you throw the bag. The bag misses, and he starts to laugh at you. Uh, but then as, like, the, the clouds part overhead and shadows begin to cast, he notices that you have no shadow, and he kind of like, leans in, trying to figure out if it's just a trick of his eyes, and he slips off into the pool, and everybody laughs at him. And you get a few claps on the back, and you win a little, a little clown doll oh. that you can put in your inventory now. Wow, good job. I, uh, I'll be honest, that looked like that throw wasn't going to do it, but I guess it worked. It was rigged Magic from the start. Um, and then, uh, so we've got... Uh, where, where was Velrock going? Or is he just uh, following the crowd? I'd like to see how many puppies I can have at one time at the petting zoo. <laughs> now, remember, I do have the Beastmaster Edge, which means all animals are friendly toward me. So uh, I think that's just an automatic thing that all the the kittens and puppies gravitate toward me, right? I don't know, but these puppies in particular are very friendly. And yeah, mm. they're very excited to see you. And they're, they're hopping all over you, giving you puppy kisses. And um, it's fantastic. Yeah, Aww. that's him. He's just rolling around and with the puppies. <laughs> I'm just imagining um, this This kind of looks like uh, from Majora's Mask when you've got all the chickens following you around. Cutie. <laughs> I need QT to roll a stealth. Here we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, God. What is QT doing now? QT uh, poorly tries to steal a chicken. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no. You don't do that. Only when I say. QD feels a little grumpy and tries to swat your hand away, but because she's cross-eyed, she swaps like they are next to your hand. <laughs> we gave you a fish pie earlier. You don't need a chicken. She <sighs> seems grumpy and kind of her tail does the angry cat twitching thing. She just goes <laughs> and like settles down and just glares at you. Cross I'll get you something nice glares after next this. To you. Glares next to you. <laughs> I was about to say, what did glaring look like cross sign? <laughs> um, clowns aren't humans calling them ink murder? That's rude! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's a good idea. I should change, you know what? I should change her major hindrance to enemy and have her be stalked by this clown for the rest of the campaign. That would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> One more thing uh, before we move on. Uh, I'd like to use my scavenger edge to produce uh, dog treats for all the puppies. And uh, and that's me. All right. Such a wholesome uh, way to use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You managed to sc scatter up some stuff and some dog treats that maybe you, you try to give to Cutie, but Cutie's stubborn in particular because cat and uh, did not eat them so there you go now you have them to give to these puppies instead I'll say I have uh, I, I took the cart out of the stable as well that way she can't uh, attempt to, to sneak away easily because she has a cart hitched to her <laughs> so that's why she failed this stealth, stealth roll yes that makes sense that makes sense 
And then we've got JJ, who's uh, going over to do some sort of feat of strength here. You're doing the wood chopping? Yeah, I'll do the wood chopping. Ah, fantastic. Uh, let's see. How about you give me an athletics as well? Actually. Let's work back. Uh, you just give me a give me a strength. Just a strength. Oh. Hey. Oh no. We're gonna just use the money to. <laughs> he bent that so fast. <laughs> I didn't even have to ask. And then I got a raise on it. <laughs> wow. Okay, That's so this better. is a competition. So let me just uh, let me roll for um, one of your competitors. Thanks, here. Aiden. <laughs> oh boy, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna beat that. But we're gonna try. <laughs> nope. Wow. And then one more. Yeah, no, you uh, you you not only show them up, but uh, you actually cleave through your log in one swing, uh, putting them to shame as they they barely even got a chip into theirs. And uh, yeah, yeah, so you get um, for yourself a, a whole bundle of logs for you uh, to use for your fires oh. when the months become cold. Cool. Awesome. You just kind of throws it over his shoulder and is now, you know, walking around with a bundle of wood. Now you need to do the hammer. Yeah, is there the hammer one too? Sure. Or yeah, was that the feet of strength one? I, I was just going to do a chopping of wood, but uh, we can make there be a mm. hammer. Strength again? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just give me that, and you, you'll take the hammer and see uh, how much uh, if you can hit the bell, as it were. I don't know if that's really how oh. they would do it in this setting. But... Nice! Let's go! Damn! <laughs> He's just winning all the prizes. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> this one actually was, uh, you know... It, the prizes here were meant to be more geared to, to like, uh, kids and whatnot. So you get this, like, this little hammer that... Um, it's made of wood, but then it's got like two fuzzy ends, so that it's safe to like bop people with it. Does it squeak? Oh. No, it just it's just nice and soft when it hits you. It's a gentle. Oh. It's, it's a gentle it squeaks hit. now. Well, you know what? I guess it squeaks. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> Very nice. Um, I, is there? Do they have cotton candy? I want to get cotton candy for everybody in the party. Cotton candy? What do you think this is? No, there's no it's cotton candy. It's a carnival. Candy. What carnival? Well, what, what's the medieval equivalent? Like what's the medieval equivalent? Like so... Yeah, flavored. <laughs> Can we make cotton candy? Actually, there is cotton candy. Yeah. Cotton candy. Yeah, there is. Candy. This is also a fantasy <laughs> realm that there's magic. Yeah. So I feel We're like having, that yeah. is not. It's We're using all of our pretty We had in 1897 by a dentist. Cotton candy was created by a dentist. That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's a conspiracy. That's amazing, actually. I'd like to spend a Benny so that cotton candy exists in Dragonlance. You spent two, so you should give. <laughs> I know, because I accidentally gave myself okay. one. Okay. There's just okay. not a really a plethora of magic users is the problem, so I don't know who's going to make this cotton candy for you. But, um. And certainly one of the uh, same. grand scholars that Moss is speaking to would be exactly so yeah. there's smart people here maybe they, they, they brought it in just specially Wait. just for this carnival that only happens once a year surely I'm sure that if you take sugar and you spin it around quite quickly and yeah. you take a little stick and you wind it around I'm sure you could there could be non-magical maybe it's a Vogler special oh, the rest of the world just hasn't caught on to it yet <laughs> sure um, okay, they, they don't I call it cotton buy... candy they call it Vogler cotton yeah delicious okay so I want to buy Vogler cotton for all of us so that would be one two three four five five Vogler candy please amazing it's gonna set you back about ten copper Okay. We're all right. Still... I'll get it, and all right, and then I'll I'll pay for them, and then I will give everybody their bell rock. No, not bell rock. Vulgar candy. Ah, my queen, I, I I genuinely appreciate it, but I'm saving room. You see. This is. But it's really good. You could you could give it to Cutie. 
Oh, 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 I like this. <laughs> He's getting it all over his beard. <laughs> oh Cotton candy is the best. <laughs> so delicious. This is so very delicious. delicious. He's gonna have uh, sugar high. Are there any of mine actually archery contests or anything of that nature boutique. here? I'm sorry. Uh, what was the question? Uh, is there like an archery contest or anything of that nature here? Sure, there's an archery contest. Of course there is. It's the Kingfisher Festival. Yeah, you, you said that uh, there were fishing. There was a fishing thing. Yeah. Isn't that mm -hmm. the same? Yeah, the mm -hmm. fishing contest. No. The fish catch is the the biggest one. Everybody loves the fish catch. So, Dick, uh, Jan catch. didn't want his uh, vulgar candy. Do you want his? He didn't. He he said he was saving room for. I'll take it. He takes the hand. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm doing something nice for the party. Plus, it's cotton candy, and now I really want to cook cotton candy. <laughs> he gives some to uh You know what? You know what? I'm going to spend a Benny. Oh, uh oh. Why? Why? Oh my god, I know exactly what you're going to do. Your cotton candy, out of everybody's <laughs> cotton candy, comes out black. Don't know why. My cotton candy comes out no, it black. Doesn't. Everybody else? <laughs> what the hell? We enjoy our cotton candy. It is delicious and Vito. sugary. And I'm so, gonna double down it is on so that. delicious. It's delicious. Hers is just black. I don't understand why. They must put the wrong color ink in it. This is a festival. We're here to have fun. There's no black cotton candy. I know. Oh, that sounded racist. I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's black no, cotton candy, that. right? <laughs> wow. Wow. Somebody said it's mold. God damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, I can take my Benny back, though, if you really didn't want me to. I've ditched your Benny, man. You can do what you want. Uh, so but she yeah, has good is... cotton candy, oh, then? Sure. She can have... Yeah, what, what kind do you want her to have? Whatever oh she God. wants. Where did all these Bennies come from? Uh, I accidentally spent it once. I had to oh, try to bring the mood I down I want here. pink. Pink? Okay. Yes. Okay. You got pink there. With a black comb. Um, all right, so okay, we, can, we can we we can come to terms with that. Yeah, since fine. we both spend a penny, we both get a little of what we want. Um, all right, so you're going to the eating contest, the, <laughs> the, the phallic, the phallic uh, food contest. Yes, I hope they have cucumbers. It has a nice crunch. Mm. Yes, they got all good. sorts of them. The way this works is you compete against two others. Um, and yourself, and uh, one of them is the yearly champion. His name, he is fondly called Dungeon Daddy by those in the town. <laughs> DD for short. Double D. Ew. Mm -hmm. It looks like it too. Hmm. Yeah. So every round, um, you're going to eat a phallic-shaped food object, and each one will be longer than the last and a different type. And it'll be harder to do. And uh, Is this from out... the source book. Yes, Wait, are we, yes uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed to chew, or is it just straight down the gullet? You, whatever gets it down, man. Whatever gets it down. I, you see, you see, I have a, I have quite the gag reflex. If I can't chew, I can't swallow. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm all teeth. <laughs> Stop it! <man. laughs> oh God. All right, all right. So if you're going to compete, what I need you to do is make me a stamina roll. Just just a straight stamina roll this time. Oh, stamina. Uh, stamina. Uh, you mean vigor? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't have stamina in this game. Uh, vigor, vigor, vigor. Can I be the other one competing since there's three people? Sure. If you want to take <laughs> this mess, go for it. <laughs> Oh wait, why did I get a why did I roll a one? I rolled a four. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well that was a uh, short, oh, short oh, contest. Dungeon Daddy. Dungeon Daddy <laughs> He looks had over. Had too many meat pies, I guess. He looks over and he sees Jan Stamos trying to get down his banana. And, uh, you know, he's not doing very good at it, apparently, or whatever. But then he sees Alias just like, whoop, 
yeah. right down the gullet. And it, it's so smooth and so quick that it just catches DD by surprise. And uh, he actually chokes on his banana. And it actually stops the contest. He He's like literally choking and somebody's got to save him. Well, I think Elias goes over and like slaps him on the back real hard, you know? Mm. So you get behind Dungeon Daddy and you put your arms With around my... him and give him the hind leg, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Really Very aggressively, good. you know? You gotta make Very sure it good. all comes out. Uh, Richard leans over to, to Mike and he's just like, this contest is kind of gay for me. I think I'm going to go over here. <laughs> yeah. Elias will like when he, after he gives him the first couple good, uh, good bugs, he'll like lean over to him and be like, it'll be, a, everything will be okay, Dungeon Daddy. I got you. They're, they're asking you, I they're, want, ask, they're asking you so not to they, save him. They're asking you not to save so while, him. While he's doing that, I am going to. Well, here, hold on, hold on. I have, I can, I can roll healing. You know, we can see if I actually... Yeah, like, give me a healing and see if you actually dice. succeed. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank God, Dungeon Daddy is safe. Oh, um, no. you, he, can I uh, still do what I was going to do, though? Yeah, yeah, what are we going to do? I'm going to cast Devoured by Night, uh, which would give this person cold chills, and then it's basically fear. So after... <laughs> You're casting fear on Dungeon Daddy? <laughs> Good characters. Good characters. Oh my I'm god, not okay. Him. All right, go I ahead. mean, he just suffered a traumatic experience. Right? It's irrational fear. What yeah, it's irrational fear. And I just, I, I kind of wanted to, I want to time it so he he gets like the chills when um, when Elias is touching him to heal him. Oh my god. Please, go ahead and roll it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I need to look at your sheet real quick. Power comes with overwhelming dread and horror. The target makes a fear check. Extras who fail are panicked. Okay. It just cast with a I want to go fishing. Fear table. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so that banana you, was the scariest. You thing have ever damaged this, this man. Uh, well, me to make. The... Yeah, he feels a cold shiver, and he is like distracted as hell by Elliot's being on him like this, and he can't stop thinking about Elias now. Um. He just kind of runs off the stage, his, his cheeks all scarlet, and uh, he is very humiliated and scared. Uh, don't mess with the pros next time. <laughs> it's so worth it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, leave the eating to us with large throats. Wow. Uh, okay, well, um, I guess that means you automatically win. Um... Oh wait! Did I finish my banana? I didn't. I didn't critically fail. I just sort of failed. Well, you got you, you got failed, a failed, pass. Failed. I rolled a one. No, he did not get a pass. He failed. He uh, uh no, he didn't get it he... down. Oh. No, I said like Moss character. Moss oh. character pass. I don't understand. One of my dice said five, and yet I have. There's a one. I don't get it. It's because you it's a wild eye. The same time. It's the wild eye. Oh, maybe I don't I understand was... that mechanic just yet. That's okay. No, I think it got, was Elias' got, die in You yours. got two twos. Yeah, you got two twos, and one of them was minus one because you're slender. Ew. A shame. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you uh, get your prize, which is a wooden carving of a corn cob. Uh, made by one of the local town folk. And uh, then finally, we're going to the fish catch. Uh, Thank okay, goodness. Me... That was getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, at least Dungeon Daddy didn't die. I'm still, I'm yeah. still kind of hungry. I'm right, having Elias, second thoughts what... about wanting to stay in this town for the rest of my life. Elias, what did you do to that poor man? He just ran like he saw the devil when you touched him. What did you do? Just tried to save his life. 
Why was he so scared? Are you sure you cast the, the right spell? I didn't cast a spell at all. I just gave him the the where you grab them and you pump them and you just they just they go forward and you go back and they spit out whatever's in their mouth. Look, Elias, I ain't that one to judge. I mean, you can, that, that you can do what you want to do, but I, mean, I may not know much, but that's not how you save someone's life. That's something a little bit more oh, intimate. God. That's I rolled no I was the, the old the, the old farmer next to our house. That's what she said she how she would save her husband when he was choking. He had some sort of throat issue. Oh. Oh my god. Uh, That's not what we well, called no, no Moving wonder on. he no wonder he's panicked. Oh god. Maybe before oh, you dang. before you try to heal people that way, maybe maybe ask for permission before you do all that pumping and well, it's kind of hard to ask for permission when they can't breathe because they're choking. <laughs> they're <on> choking. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, somebody, somebody just sent twenty dollars to the Muppetosis mic fund. They must really want the Dungeon Daddy stuff to end. Um. All right. So we're going to go to the fish catch now. Well, uh, before before that, I rolled a notice roll. It was a nine. I think I realized my <laughs> queen probably did something, but I'm not going to say anything. It depends. Okay, queen, so were if... you trying to be sneaky, or do you not care? I didn't care. Okay. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> I'm just noticed. A, I just make a note of it. I'm like, mm-hmm. So what you noticed was that my queen uh, started to glow blue, and then you could see, like, that power kind of, like, kind of go, like, down in the energy, and then it just looked like a shadow was creeping on the floor, from my queen towards this individual, and then the shadow just like devoured the individual. So like from from like the 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 base by by his feet. So if you notice that you notice that's what she did. I might walk by and just whisper. I'm like, I know what you did. <laughs> my queen will start laughing. Spoonie samurai. Spoonie samurai's tell comments tell really good. Tell swally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So dumb. Why did you I, save this man? He he wouldn't consent to the life saving <laughs> maneuver. I, I, don't know, I don't I don't know if Vogler has good Samaritan was, you know? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So to the fish catch. Um, yes, please. Yeah, so um, let's see. So traffic kind of flows steadily through the village circle to the wharf. And it's here that the fish catch um usually happens and it's typically the way this works it's the amateur fishers against the community's best anglers all competing to try to catch the largest fish um and it takes place in like little 30 minute increments um so if it's you like guys booty bay. Uh, wait what it's like booty bay in world of warcraft oh, oh it's the same competition <laughs> You know, I, I'm glad it was a World of Warcraft reference because I, I was not sure where you're going with that. Um, no, just like the aftermath. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So there is um, several fishers out there already getting ready, and there's still a few open boats if you guys want to go out there as well. Um, a fishing pole resting on her shoulder, Raven, that's the governor, takes her place as one of the competitors and beckons other participants to line up with her along the docks. She says, It's time to find out who among us Kingfisher Fisher Folk is the Fisher King. Um, and then she casts her own line into the Vingrid River. The competitors receive her pun with good spirited groans and laughter, and then cast their lines as well. What what are they doing? I thought this was a fishing contest. They're uh -huh. fishing with fishing poles. What? They're fishing with string. They're waiting for the fish to bite the string, or the bait on the string, and then pull it up because they're lazy. Well, that doesn't Dick. take much skill. How do you catch fish there, Dick? With my bow. Oh. That makes sense. Is that not how people do it? No, um, not normally. No. <laughs> not uh, not, 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 not before. Have uh, I been doing it wrong this whole time? 
I would uh, say you've been doing not wrong. Not wrong, just, just differently. Wrong way to do it. Yeah. yeah, just differently. Well, do you think they'll let outsiders into this competition? Because it sounded like they just wanted the the king folk to do it. I don't think we're king folk. I think, no, I don't it's know. A competition I think they will allow you. be king of the fish. You know, the king fish I feel like I, I've won most of the contest today. I feel like if I don't <laughs> try this one, I'm going to... I feel like I'm already part of the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah you I know, think you too You know what, Dick? I, I think you're a king. You dropped this. I think you should you should try it out, Dick. I think you can you can do it. You can show them how fishing with a bow and arrow is better. Is it better though? I've never seen how these rods are used. Well, well here I'll show you. you. Just Let's say... go. Stand next to me. Stand next to me on the line. I'll, we'll do. Oh, well, yeah, well, let's, I'll, let's I'll join, join the too. next one if we can. Who do we talk to for that? That the boat uh, is yeah, open right just... now. You can just find a boat and join the crew. Oh, right. let me on, let me on. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll try I think our crew gets <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think I'll stay ashore. I'm, I'm not the strongest swimmer. Amazing. Okay. You can stay with Cutie. Ah, good kidding. Mm. Oh, wait, you no look over, right there. You look over at Cutie, <laughs> and Cutie is currently salivating over um, Wani Arudai. Oh, Do not eat the bird. Uh, my, my guard dog Aurora also stays. And she probably does. notices and she probably like sits herself down between the bird and QT like mm -mm. Uh, so McQueen you go into a boat um, each boat has two people in it and you're kind of the odd one out and you get uh, next to kind of a sort of a heavier set man He's in some finer clothes, and he seems a little huffy and disgruntled as he's fishing. Um, and you all can... What we're going to do is three rounds of survival checks, and if you, if you do well on your survival check, you'll catch a fish. And if you get a raise, you'll probably catch a bigger fish. Uh, but I'll tell you what to roll as we go. Okay. Can um, I use this? He holds out his long <laughs> to whoever's nearby. I don't have to use one of those rod thingies, do I? Uh, how are you going to do it? Do what? Fish. With your bow? With, with, a, with a bow. Do you and have a string a... on the arrow. Okay, yeah. Sure, we're still going to call it a survival check for the sake of uh, being no, a that's fine. of the game. But yeah, you can use your bow, no, that's yeah. fine. I would prefer it be a survival check. I just wanted to make sure they were okay with it. Yeah, so the, some people, I mean, who aren't in your boat, kind of, like, paddle out of your, like, line of sight. A little wary <laughs> of, um... He kind of is aiming and aims a little off at first. Yeah, since <laughs> you don't... Yeah, especially with the one eye thing, yeah, they're a little, yeah. uh... They're a little concerned. Um, yeah, you guys, uh, can go ahead and start fishing. Now, I need all of you to make a survival check, but one of you, Sevi, you're gonna make yours at minus two. So I don't have survival. It would be an unskilled attempt, correct? It would be unskilled if you don't have survival, yes. All right, then uh, I'm probably not going to And Sebi, the reason this. you're making yours at minus Ooh. two is the man next to you is grumbling about how... Yeah. He's like, this is so damn boring. I don't understand. This is the worst, stupidest thing in the world. He's just, like, distracting you and just being a really bad sport about the whole thing. Mm. Well, then... I am going to, um, I'm going to do is... I spent a penny on mine. Am... Okay. <laughs> huh. Okay. All right. So this is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll and then, um, when I'm rolling, whatever happens, I'm sure I'm going to fail. I'm going to cast fear on this guy to, to get him. <laughs> to, like, fall off the boat. Stop <laughs> cheating. Wow. <laughs> well, no, I'm not cheating because I'm not, That's like... That's the definition of sure cheating. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not competing against this guy. I'm not going to win. I'm just tired of his, like, whining. What if you just called your bird over and had, had your bird go, like, <laughs> land on or something? Okay. 
Oh my god. Okay, well first off, let me show you uh let me show you a picture of this guy. One second. <laughs> uh, before he's like super important. Uh it, as it turns out. He is. Oh shit, where'd his picture go? Damn it. That's not, not that important, I guess. No, he's very important. I just seem to have lost him somehow. Uh... Well, if it was important, you wouldn't have lost it. Dang, got it. Where'd he go? Oh, oh I could have cheered him up instead somehow. Uh... Well, yeah, I yeah. Your first thought is never to do here. the nice thing, so I guess none of us should be surprised. <coughs> Damn it, I don't know where the hell he went. Um, but I bet you he's in here. One second. Uh, I don't know where Stan is. But he, he's a big burly guy. He's got nicer clothes. If I find it, I'll show it to you later. Um, but all right. Yeah, he, he definitely. Happen, does he happen to look like Baracus or whatever his name was? Maybe an older version? The idiot? He does have similar hair coloring, and if you look past sort of like the older weight and wrinkles, sure, he might even have a little bit of, um, of the same facial features as the, uh, as, uh, the other Baracus kid that you ran into. Um, and yeah, you, you do this, and he sees something in the water, like a big shadow from his point of view, and it freaks him the hell out. And, uh, I actually have to roll on the fear table, so let me do that. Thank you, Savvy. So what do you do once you put that line in the water? You just wait? Or are you supposed to, like, wiggle it around? Uh, well, uh, it depends. I mean, uh, here, he kind of looks around. He's like, you could probably just wait, because there's a lot of movement with the boats and stuff. Um, but if you're at, like, a river or something, sometimes if you kind of jerk the rod... Yeah, panicked. Um, he falls backwards. make a little bit of a splash for you. <laughs> He falls backwards into the water and um, immediately starts drowning, essentially. He, he's not a good swimmer. Okay. Um, then I will oh, hey. I'll turn around and I will scream, Help! Help! He fell down! No, wait, he's that guy's drowning. good bait. He flies, so <laughs> he points his bow over to the guy. Right into the water. Elias just full on swan dives after the guy. Are you like in plate armor and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, are you in your armor? Because it actually um, matters. Uh, yeah, yeah, I probably would be just because, uh, you know, I'd be getting ready for the battle later. Okay. Uh, I do believe there is a penalty for that. But um, yeah, so you dive into the water to go save this guy. <laughs> um, give me an athletics check. I believe at minus two. I'm double checking. An this arrow whizzes so past awesome. your head into the water <laughs> and gives a big thing for an excuse. Jesus Christ. Can I, <laughs> can I spend a Benny? Let me know. Can I spend a Benny to say, be like, when the, the arrow barely <laughs> missed Elias, it caught a fish? Well, I, I already succeeded on my survival, so I was just... Oh, saying okay. that that was, yeah, he'd that have was to make a, in the fish. He'd have oh, to okay. make a roll. Um, well, with the exception also of uh, Elias, obviously, because he has abandoned his pole to save this guy, the rest of you could roll me a 1d20. If you got a raise, add a plus 2 to it. Uh, well, well, I got an check. 11 on my athletics. Uh, do I go ahead and roll as well, given that I am on, I'm on the shore? You're so not cheating you. again. No, not you. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, here we go. Swimming. What are we rolling at a 24? Sorry. Yeah, I don't know, but I got a 20. I just need you to roll a 20. I'll explain in a second. I'm currently looking up to see if what the penalty is on swimming. Thanks, Sebi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> where, where, where do I get a d20 from? So what did you type get in your athletics? Here, I'm gonna, 11. I'm gonna uh, put it in the chat, okay, what fine. you need to type. Okay. <clears throat> so you okay. dive in, and despite your armor, you are able uh, to get this man, uh, he's very heavy and not a good swimmer, and he keeps, like, slapping you in the face as you're trying to get him to shore. Um, <clears throat> and when he gets there, he's like, he's like, oh, there was a big sh a beast in the water. I saw it over there. 
He's lucky that beast didn't oh, devour well, him. Why did you jump into the water if there was a beast <laughs> in the water? <laughs> did not. Were you trying to catch it? I mean, that you probably would have won. The out of the boat. Oh, well, I'm glad I was there to help. Um, I, we must have scared off the beast together, I guess. He looks at you and kind of like evaluates you and decides that... Uh, you seem to be of the lower class. And he starts wiping off the areas where you touched him to rescue him. <laughs> wow. Did you bring him back to Arbo? Well, I suppose no. I they should... Uh, shore. I should give I you some sort of reward for what you did. And he reaches into his pouch, and he pulls out a copper and flips it over to you. Oh my god, that's so insulting. Cool. Thanks. Um, yeah, well... You know, I'm gonna miss out on the contest, but that's okay. I mean, you know, uh, somebody's life is way more important than this uh, fishing contest. I'm just glad I was there. Yes, well, you saved a nobleman today, so know that you did something worthwhile with your otherwise probably unextraordinary life. Wow. Uh, well, you know, I am blessed by Paladin, so I don't know if my life is as. Uh, Whatever you just said. But yeah, wow. uh, thanks. I'm gonna watch um, my friends win this contest. Damn. Yeah, he 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 goes from like looking at you with like disgust and kind of like uh, uh, yeah. scorn to kind of looking at you incredulously, like he's staring at a crazy person. I see. Meanwhile, at the shore, there is a crazy person, Moss. Blessed by <laughs> Paladin. You rang. Well. All right. Well, you go back to your fishing. Blessed one. Yeah, we uh, be careful yourself. And then he, he goes kind and joins. Of, uh, yeah. Rolls his eyes and goes over to dry off. Now the rest of you have rolled, uh, so let's see what you got here. Uh, I got a goldfish. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> so who rolled first? We got Lupinius. and you got a sixteen. You catch a mature river eel. It's about a foot and a half long uh, big long eel very nice all right cool i'm pretty sure they all failed their check didn't they oh wait did you fail if you failed oh. you don't need to roll a d20 only if you can see oh you told us all to roll d20 oh you said everybody roll a d20 so i did and they got yeah. a 20. uh okay you didn't catch it uh richard <laughs> Yeah, there you, you goes catch a goldfish, basically. Yeah. Um, that ain't that impressive. <laughs> your arrow had to be the hit that bullseye. <laughs> <clears throat> Were you the only one that succeeded? Oh, because um, wow, because Eli Elias had jumped off. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, yeah. Elias, roll me a d20 to see what got away. <clears throat> and you had a raise, right? So plus two. An eighteen. Yeah, mature um, curacid carp, three feet long, really big fish, um, <clears throat> compared to what everybody else is currently getting. Um, swims away with your pole. It's gone. Uh, the rest of you, if you could make me another survival or uh, unskilled check. Richard is showing his fish to the other people on the, on the boat. He's just like, check that out. He's like holding so it between proud. two fingers. <laughs> so proud. <laughs> There's a little girl on the wharf that's like, why does that look like Betty, my goldfish you guys said went to camp last summer? <laughs> oh, I don't know, but it's dead now. <laughs> it's dinner now. <laughs> Survival. QT's going to have a snack. Sure, you can use a conviction roll. on any roll, right? It just adds, what is it? It adds a D6 or something? Conviction is for a round, and yeah, it adds a D6 to everything you do for that round. You can spend Benny's to elongate its duration. Yeah, I'll do that. Might as well. I have so many use, bennies. Are you sure you want to use your conviction for this? Yeah, I gotta show everyone I'm the kingfisher. Okay. What else would I use it for? Uh, uh, fight, they are they are battle. more rare. Is all I'm saying. Um. So, oh, cutie, poor cutie didn't get a fish. Uh, I can't figure out how to add the conviction. I'll just keep it. I'll do it later. <clears throat> Uh, normally, you would just click on the word conviction, and it'll activate it, and it starts just adding it to your rules. 
I'm gonna do a bending on that. There we go, that's better. Nice! Alright, so yeah, roll that d20 out of plus two. Uh, everybody else... No, uh, my queen, you just made it. Or my queen, god damn it. Uh, you also get to roll my a d20. My queen. Hmm. My space? Uh, so Richard, you got a 16. So this time you catch a mature uh, curacid carp, three feet long. And... Uh, That's the biggest fish I ever shot. My queen, you get the same kind of fish, but a tiny one that's one foot long. Okay. That's not tiny. That's a good catch. I mean, it's bigger it's than a fish, for sure. Um, and then final round. I can get all three of you to do one more survival slash unskilled. Oh, wow. My Quinn uh, apparently is getting the hang of this. Um, Phineas, uh, not so much. And Richard gets one as well. So roll a d20, Richard, and a d20 plus two, my Quinn. d20. Oh, I'm not saying those words, chat. I'm saying my Quinn. No, that's not how it is. Hello. Hello, Mike, like uh, Richard does. Isn't that yeah. her name? Wow. Even with a plus two. Uh, all right, so you get a tiny river eel, McQueen. And uh, Richard, you get another three foot mature curacid carp. And they're just looking for the biggest. Yeah, yeah so, it's a, so. It's, a com it's kind of a community contest. So it's all the catches added up of the the amateur fishers versus the experts. Oh, the guys who are like the best okay. Well, I hope everyone else was doing good. Uh, so that's what I'm checking now to see if you guys won. Uh, kind of sucks you lost Elias, but that's okay. Oh, here's the mayor, by the way, if you want to see the mayor. Holding her fish. Mine's bigger than that. I, I believe you. Um, <laughs> that's, not three feet. Okay. that's not three feet. That's like two feet. All right, yeah. Uh, looks like you guys squeak out a win. All right. by, by one foot. Uh, so yeah, you guys win, and you are all given kingfisher caps. Uh, nice little uh, blue caps that have a a nice little feather in it to kind of commemorate the Kingfisher Festival. Oh, I can't wear that. Oh, quite stylish. Is there anything... Can I get a prize that I can actually use? <laughs> <laughs> he's like trying to... He's trying to be like respectful, but he doesn't know how to be. <laughs> can you put it on cutie? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, this is the only prizes I got, says the prize giver, who has a bucket full of hats. Well, I can't. I gotta keep my helmet on. I can't. If I take it off, I might hey, bump I, my head. I was on the amateur team, but I had to jump off my boat to save that guy's life. Can I still get a cap? No. If you fall off, you're disqualified. Oh, well, I you didn't could fall take off. I jumped off to save that guy. Oh, okay. Jumping right. is falling, just with style. So I should just let that guy drown? Mm-hmm. Honestly, clearly you, that man was I supposed to fall off to prompt you to jump into the water because they're clearly running out of hats. It was man, all, I shouldn't have told it was all set up from the start, them. don't you see? His hat is a little small for my head, but it's cool. I, I know like the color. fish are big, Nozaku. I'm saying that in terms of what the other team got, they squeaked by by a foot. Like in total, they, they got one foot over what they had to beat. Uh, so look, when your average good. fish is a 36, any fish looks big, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 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 Richard looks over at the, JJ, the expert fisherman. JJ, you just fell off fisherman. the good list. You just fell off the good list. I don't know why you did that. Why did you do that? He was never in your good list. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So we, none of us he looks over at the that. expert fisherman and he's like, Hey, if you guys uh, want to learn how to fish a different way, I can show you. I mean, I did catch those two pretty big fish. They, uh, they look at your... <laughs> 
They look at your your good catch, and then they scan over to your goldfish, and they kind of like smirk at each other. I have two other good and, catches. And they thank you. They thank you for the offer, and they'll take you up on it later, they say. Well, if you're worried about the little one, that was just to show my accuracy. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive claim. And uh, you know what? Do you genuinely believe that? Well, yeah. I mean, I saw it there swimming around next to Elias. It was going to nibble on his toes. I had to get rid of it. I think they, uh, they smile at you and nod. And you think that they are impressed. <laughs> um, uh, I put my hat on my dog. Okay, you put your hat on your dog. It uh, it doesn't quite fit like it should, but uh, you know what? You make it work. You make it work. <laughs> All right, so um, after a while, the festivities uh, begin to wind down. And actually, I'm really upset that I can't find this stupid ass freaking picture. I'd like to buy um, a fishing pole. While we're at the dock, how much uh, would that run me? Fishing think... pole, no, not just like copper range. Um, I don't know, just say five copper. I'll take a fishing pole. Oh boy, it got rid of my copper since last time. I don't think it likes the second decimal. I'm just gonna do a silver because he okay. can't count anyway. So. Okay, that's fine. That's one of these, right? Detail. You tip, yeah, that's great. Uh, he's just like, he nods his head, not arguing with you. I'm going to learn how to use this later. He puts it in the cart. Uh, I know, I've got this in here. Well, why do you need to buy a fishing pole? You could just scavenge one. Oh, here he is. I found him. Here's the guy that you uh, you knocked out of the boat. Yeah, if you would have showed me that here. picture, I wouldn't have told anybody he was drowning. <laughs> you wouldn't save that handsome beard from drowning? I mean, no. the, be the beard is nice, but... Yeah, yeah, so that's him. That is him. Did he him. have the sword on him by any chance? Uh, no, he did not take it with him on the boat, but he, oh, he does have bad. that sword, yes. Uh, all right. So as the festival begins to kind of wind down, it starts to head towards that time where the, uh, the battle is going to take place, the, uh, reenactment. close that. All right. So the Kingfisher Festival culminates in the annual reenactment of the Battle of High Hill. Uh, as Darren is explaining to you, he says it's it's held at a hill located about 30 minute walk north of the village. Uh, is it a high hill? <laughs> How did you guess? He says with a slight <laughs> smirk. And he says, well, it's, no, it's called a high fun. hill. <laughs> it's Nothing... a hill that is high up. Nothing gets past any of you, clearly. <laughs> um, Get it. I was kind of hoping that John Jan would be a uh, contrarian and saying, that's not a high hill, that's very low. When compared to other hills in the region, it's quite it's quite mid, actually. It's technically not even <laughs> above sea level. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, so he explains to you, um, as you, you see mayor raven she's kind of gathered in the village circle and uh the the local militia have all gathered and they're kind of like putting on their gear to get to ready to go up there and um Derrett, he he explains to you he says we do this every year at the festival it serves two purposes one to remember you know our part in the war and and how vogler came to be uh but also our militia don't get a lot of drills and training in, so this is like that one time a year they really get to go out there and and, and train a little bit and, and keep themselves fresh on their, their tactics and their swordsmanship and such. Um, 
this year though is going to be a little different. A little different. Normally, half our militia go to the top of the hill. The other half, you know, play as ourselves and we fight each other. Um, but since Cudgel's in town with her mercenaries, uh, Cudgel's actually going to play the part of the Istar soldiers, her mercenaries are, and we're going to fight them, so... <laughs> we're probably going to need some skilled swords to make us look good, so... Glad you're participating. Yeah, I think, uh... I think this will be fun. I haven't... I don't think I've ever trained with anybody like a mercenary, but, you know, my, uh... I've got some good training in before. Well, yeah, I mean... This will be fun. Becklin says from the stories that she heard from Ispin that some of you are quite capable, so... All I can say is it can't hurt. Unless we get hit. I don't know. I, I've been in battles before. I don't really like being in battles. I could hurt someone. I think I'll sit this one out. Oh, I mean, you, know, you don't have to worry right? about that. We, we don't use real weapons. You'll all be given, basically, theatrical spears. They're, they're spears, but the, the ends have been blunted with padding so that you can't actually hurt anybody. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I heard that before, but I'm starting to think that those weapons were a lot deadlier than we thought. I can't speak to your prior experiences, but I, I can assure you, we do this every year and nobody ever gets hurt. It's fine. I think I'm okay. I mean, there is, you know, an area where people can sit and watch. Um, so if, you know, you hey. choose not to participate, uh, that's fine. Dick, why don't you just sit back and, and fire the little Nerf arrows? You'd be out of the way of, uh, you know, any of the uh, fake weapons. I'm okay. I, I don't really want to be in a battle. Uh, it's something. It's something the matter there, Dick. You seem to have lost your nerve. Well, it's not about nerve. It's just that I don't think Ispin would want me being in another battle. Oh, really? This must be a tale that this is a tale I must hear. That's okay. I'll share it another day. All right. It's all right. I'll join the um, kid in. And then Derek is going to sort of, um, like, look around. And he's going to lean in and almost conspiratorially be like, although I hear there might be more than one reason that the, the mercenaries have been called in to help. Oh. Yeah. Could it have something to do with the, dr with the draconids they found on the road? Do you even know what a draconian is? A draconian. Uh, do I? I don't know that you do. Oh, uh, well, they were they were talking about the lizard people. Lizard yeah, people. You could say lizard people. or He said uh, draconian. People. He didn't, he didn't uh, say draconian. He said draconid. Yeah, I've so heard he, about these yeah. mysterious lizard people on the road. Could this be connected? Is that why... Is that why the mercenaries are in town? Yeah, Becklin thinks that Maybe the reason Mayor Raven's given the village's militia so much attention recently is because of the vague rumors of war in the East. Mm. Uh, she's hoping that with trained mercenaries on the other side, this year's reenactment could be more of a challenge and show them that they really need to shape up and start drilling more, you know? Mm. You know, it's never you a guys, bad thing to be prepared. And you guys could serve as an inspiration, you know? It, I know it's low stakes and it's not a real battle, but... You know, if they see you guys wow. showing them Wait. up and really giving these mercenaries the good old one-two, maybe it'll inspire them a little bit, you know? Wait, what if, what if? Now, bear with me here. I know this is going to sound absolutely insane, bonkers even, but what if the mercenaries are here to actually kill us and take over the town? They could be, they could have swapped... What? the fake weapons out with real ones and then perhaps I'm starting to like this even here. Oh, this that the seems the, a little bit of a stretch. Yeah, the oh, leader of the mercenaries is oh. Cudgel Iron Smile. That was one of Ispin's best friends besides Becklin. No, that is ridiculous. Do you think that could be true, Yon? 
You're ridiculous. Yes, of course it's true. Look at me. I'm, I'm the smartest person you know. <laughs> oh my god. No. Okay, well, well, be careful out there. I, I just made friends with you guys. I wouldn't want you to die already. Well, of course, this, if, if this is the case, we must put an end to this evil. Show them who's boss. This is all sounding worse and worse by the minute. <laughs> Everything will be fine. It's just a fun reenactment. We used to do this in the town I grew up in. Exactly. We do this every year. And again, these are good friends of Ispen. These aren't just random mercenaries pulled off the street. Your friend is um, worrying too much. I assure you, Richard. It's going to be fine. Oh, I'm not worried. This is a this is an exercise for you to show off your skill and inspire the militia, essentially. This is not mm -hmm. a real battle. Uh, that's it. Got it. I'll I'll go over to Dick and I'll say, you know, it might be a good idea if maybe you join just so that we can keep Jan safe, just in case. Jan, I need no protection. I specialize in protection. <sighs> Yeah, but you're not a fighter. Ah, you're a no, wizard. I need no have like swords a, to make my point known. Do you have mittens I can put on QT? I've got Ispen's shield, so nothing's Getting getting mittens. rude to us. Just stay behind me. All right, let's... I think we should all go. I think we should, we should do this together as a group. It might come in handy for the future if we have to fight... The Dragon Queen's soldiers, like you guys did. Earlier. Have you ever been in an actual battle, Mike? Uh, no. Which is why I need your help. I'll be clueless without you. I just don't think it's appropriate to be reenacting such horrible things. Mm. But it was such a. It's we're reenacting the glorious victory that we was the Battle of High Hill. Hill. We don't need to pressure him. It's part of our history. It's to celebrate and remember those who have fallen. There's no danger. But if, you know, there are things that are triggering you about this, uh, there is a safe space on the bleachers, and you can just hang out there. And a safe fine. space? Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Wait, do That's I have to watch, nice. though? I don't want to watch it either. Oh, I guess good. you don't have to watch. You're just going to stay Wait. at the town? Maybe the petting zoo is still open by yourself. Oh, is the petting zoo still there? Oh no, the the festival's kind of being torn oh. down now. But uh, we're we're all about hey. to head up to the hill right now. Uh, I mean, you can stay mm. here, but there's not going to be very many people here to entertain you. Hmm. You'll be safe with us. Fine. Trust me. I know how. I I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I'm going to be I the world's greatest you know. wizard. I believe that. That is another thing. Debatable. Um, is, the weapons aren't real. Um, and so if you could try not using real magic too, that would Whoa. be appreciated. What if I do what if I just don't uh kill anyone with my magic? I think <laughs> I think I can manage that. Uh, uh, allow me to soothe your to soothe your worries. Uh, most oh, of my God. magic has to do with wards and and things to avert damage uh, coming in. So I, I will avoid any offensive abilities and um, focus yeah. more on, de on defensive. Would that is that a would that protection stuff is fine. Just you know, don't light anybody on fire or. Oh, I, I can I can do this, and I'll and can I cast a uh, bolt as a cantrip? Is that how that works? I can just cast it for free and have it do like a little harmless thing. Is that yeah, how that yeah. works? Yeah. So I'll just kind of shoot. Uh, I'll just and it's just a tiny little uh, purple and green bolt that kind of spin around each other, and it kind of pops into into Mike's chest and just <laughs> puffs out into a, a few little sparks. Yep. See, harmless. Like paintball. Yeah, that, so, that actually would be great. It would add a lot of uh, dramatic flair to the battle. So what you're saying is, as long as our magic is not wounding the other side, it's okay. She's always That's looking for I'm a hearing. fucking loophole to hurt someone. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about your magic. 
<laughs> yes, well, he does tell you that is what he means because he doesn't understand okay. that you're trying to be a lawyer here. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> um, all right, so you guys head up to the hill. Um, all right, and I guess this is the part where I should ask who of you are going to participate and who are going to sit in the stands? I should join. I'll participate. Well, I have in shield, so. Just feel good about yourself. Of course. <laughs> so, Velrock will be the only stand person? Oh, they pressured me into joining. Oh, you're joining. Okay. Okay. You'll do, right. you'll do great, Dick. Trust me. I know I'll do great. I always do great. Oh. Well, um, not for a lack of confidence, then. Passing through woods and fields, Vogler's parade of militia members and reenactment spectators finally reaches High Hill. The grassy slope is spotted with trees and crumbled stone fencing. Near the base, several dozen soldiers in matching armor stand in even formation. The contrast is striking between these mercenaries of the ironclad regiment and Vogler's militia with their mismatched armor and crooked helmets but it does nothing to dampen the spirits of those assembled for the Kingfisher's Festival's climactic reenactment. Standing nearby, Dungeon Daddy is currently getting hit by several practicing with sticks, and he seems to like it. The parade <laughs> follows a trail to the top of the hill where Mayor Raven and Cudgel Iron Smile meet and discuss final preparations for the event soon. Reenactment participants and spectators break up, with the former ticking up wooden weapons while the latter settle down to watch the reenactment. Uh, and you can all take a Benny for participating in the festival and playing games and role playing. Um, Y'all did a good job. I'm really job, glad right? Dungeon Daddy's doing okay there. He really took that banana to the back of his throat real hard. It's glad yeah, that he's doing all right. Yeah, he needed a little, a little therapy. A little therapy. <laughs> Uh, he seems to be smiling through the whole beating. All right, let's see here. So All right, I'm gonna spin to Benny. He takes a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's on our side, isn't he? <laughs> Don't injure yeah. our people before the battle. He is. is. Uh, so what happens is one of the kids gets over eager and takes their wooden training sword and runs up and just whacks him in the balls. Um, and hey, uh, thank you, Nozaku boy. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably not going to do very well, but we're going to just real quick give him a, uh, uh, I guess, a vigor roll for that. So Nozaku Boy is saying he just donated to the uh, the Muppetosis Bike Fund. Hey! Oh, very good, Nozaku. There you go. Oh, thank you, Nozaku. He's, for it. Oh, he Nozaku. Be tired. he's tired of hearing the Dungeon Daddy, too. Well, let's see. That is awesome. We are getting there. We are getting there. Um, all right, so that was, uh, okay. So he does succeed on his vigor roll. Um, so he goes like that, and then he just kind of straightens back up and grimaces with a smile and keeps taking the stick beatings as he feels that queasy feeling slowly creeping up into his gut. Worth the it. guys on here know what I'm talking about. Um, all right. It's weirder now that we know that there are kids hitting him with sticks. Why'd you have to make it so so awkward? <laughs> he doesn't. He didn't like it when the kid did it. Okay, I didn't do that. He likes um, it when the adults do it. Yeah, no, the kid. Uh, he, he grimaced yeah, and he was like, okay, and it just tried to like in the pain. I don't know. Maintain his composure. No, no, he did seem to like it when the other guys were hitting him with the sticks, though. Very strange. Um. So Mayor Raven goes around, she talks to the people in the, the spectator area first, and then she comes over to you guys and she says, um, All right, the mercenaries will charge up the west side of the hill while the militia and other participants charge down. The two groups will clash midway in a mock fight, with the mercenary Asterian forces eventually retreating. You're encouraged to use your own armor, that's fine. But please only use the wooden spears that we provide you. They have padded tips to prevent anyone from getting hurt. Remember, no real weapons. We already had that happen one time in one of these training exercises. And well, Merle hasn't walked the same ever since. So let's take our lesson from that and make sure nobody gets hurt. This is all about the spirit of remembering no, what happened here at High Hill. 
What? Um. Oh, thank you, Warlock. Warlock gave me bennies. How much? How many bennies, Warlock? One. How did You're he making stuff oh, did up. He, did he do a donation? No. Oh, yeah. He put it in the Mapitosa's donation thing, but he said he said bennies, but she he didn't say how many. I'll just add one. If it's more than one, just let me know. It's in oh, the yeah, Mapitosa's yeah. It's, it's donation. Yeah, it's, three. it's three. Okay. Thank you, Warlock. I can check and see where we're on that if you like. Let's do a little update. Let's do a little update before I continue. Uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just do this. This will be easier. Uh, I was doing that on what? Moonskull? $830. We are at $830, so 55% of the way. Amazing. Awesome. Guys. Thank you. Jolly Thank good. You. Yes, Brian. I got that, Benny. Thank you for that, Benny, Brian. I appreciate the Benny. I did use it, I think. Gonna have to use all of these in combat. I'm gonna uh, see how many powers I have left. I have four powers. Okay, I'll spend a Benny after I use my powers. Okay. Wow, you're at 830? That's insane. Yeah, we are getting up there. We are getting up there. And if you don't remember, I don't know if I actually explained what this was for besides stopping Dungeon Daddy, but this is to upgrade my audio setup because you guys complained about my mic cutting out and peaking when I do certain voices. Um, some of you have complained because when I raged about that um, uh, critical failure, I had Mummy's Mask at the end of that race. Um, I was very upset, legitimately, and you guys couldn't hear any of it. You could see my rage, but you couldn't hear it, and that's... Uh, so I, I am working to fix that. I'm trying to remedy that audio situation for you guys. So that is what this is for. Um, all right. So I need this one right here. You don't see the Benny counter, Brian? Oh, no. they don't see the Benny counter in in. So I'm looking at. The stream, they don't, I mean, we see it, but they don't see it. Oh, that's weird. Um, yeah. I can, I can fix that. Let me see. That is uh, Forge. Uh, oh, it's going to make it smaller, but that's okay. I think I can make that work. Oh, it's not going to fit nicely this way. Damn. Oh, that's what she said. I might have <laughs> to have... Um, I might have to have uh, Gravity Walk adjust this frame because it uh, it does not fit correctly. So I'm it, yeah, it's going to cut off. Oh, it's going to cut off the rolls, though. Uh, I can do this. I can do it like that. So you can, well, no, then you can't see who has them. Shit. Maybe you can do a window capture and just put it at the bottom, and uh, not the bottom, at the top left. Uh, it's just going to be a little off, um, and that's okay. Uh, you guys are just going to have to look at it looking a little strange for this for this stream, at least. Um, but I'll get it fixed for the next stream. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the window's just slightly too short somehow. Interesting. Okay. After much laughter and jostling, the mayor... Cudgel and other spectators walk to a nearby vantage to watch. As they do, the militia takes up its position atop High Hill, the same hill Salamic troops held centuries ago. They face the mercenaries of the ironclad regiment at the base of the hill, arrayed as the forces of Istar once were. Although the event is only a reenactment, a tingle of excitement fills the field. Somewhere on the line, a reenactor hoots and yells, Let's send those Historian rats running! A moment later, a trumpet blast signals the start of the battle. As everybody begins heading forward, one at the bottom of the hill shouts, For Istar! Yells the mercenary's leader. Oh, sorry. Forestar! 
yells the mercenary's leader, a tall half-ogre among several mounted soldiers. The mock Styrian troops assault the hill, and around you, the Vogler militia charge to meet them. Alright, so you guys begin charging um, into the battle to kind of reenact it the way that it was supposed to go down. Uh, as you guys do, could you all make me a notice roll? Sure thing. Should I even bother? Why not? Whoa. No, I can't. I can't move it, Michaela. the The Benny thing is locked by something called um, Stream View. I'd have to reset all the settings for stream view, which I'm not going to do live here on stream. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it's locked in that position, and I, I can't move it. Um, wow. Bunch of good notice rolls here. Damn. Um, did, you, did you attack somebody with your theatrical spear? That's rude. Uh, all right, so we got a raise, a raise, and a normal, and a raise. Wow. All right, so as you guys charge into the battle... And everybody begins to clash around on the battlefield. You guys notice the sun glinting off the mercenaries' spear tips and the half ogre's steel axe. Unfortunately, you've noticed this a little too late. Hmm. Um, all right. The conspiracy theory was right. He apparently called it. The unexpected sound of metal clashing on armor rings across the field, silencing laughter and melodramatic boasts. A ribbon of red splashes over the grassy hill, followed by shocked screams. Any pretense of a reenactment shatters. High Hill is the site of a true battle once more. Within moments, all around you, Armed mercenaries attack unprepared villagers fighting for their lives. What? Wow. Something has gone I very I fucking wrong knew here. it! This <laughs> conspiracy theory came true! Um, let me move you guys over here. Good thing we didn't here. put mittens on cutie. Those would have taken a few rounds to get off. We need those cool eyes. Yeah, All right. I'm immediately throwing away this fake spear. <laughs> I got bad news for you. Yeah, yeah, your real weapons would have been left behind at the stands. So all you've got is the spears. You uh, can that pull. was never specified. You can, as an that action, was, that was never specified. I agree with that statement. I have yes, a I would have my sword. <laughs> Why would I need to leave it behind? It would have been part of the reenactment rules not to have the weapons. Uh, right. If you would have objected, I'll let you then. make a persuasion roll to have tried to talk the mayor into letting you keep it. It's definitely on Cutie, though. Yeah, Cutie, I'm, Cutie uh, can come in with his cart, with the cart, and uh, I, uh, deliver all our weapons. <laughs> I will do a persuasion roll, and I will say, and I, I will, um, I, I will do a persuasion roll to keep because my, my weapon is not very big. Um. Mm -hmm. And well, I should hope so, my... you're a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, no. I would I would explain that um you know it's like I understand but like it's I, I really do think that just in case this is just it, it's gonna be absolutely insane. Uh, I understand there is a reenactment, but as Jan said we don't really know if we're gonna be attacked by the lizard folk again and even though this should all be in good fun if we get attacked by the lizard folk we need to be able to defend ourselves and I do promise that I won't use it to kill our people it's just so to defend now. I hate it but go ahead and roll me a persuasion check that's on you, Irida. You never said we had to leave our weapons behind. That is true. <laughs> I thought it was pretty obvious, but... Uh, All right. Yeah, I, I made a stealth roll to just smuggle my weapons. <laughs> I feel so mitigating. Let me grab a... 
Uh, to be fair, I do have the. You should have. You should have told us we couldn't bring our weapons oh, back to be, then. To be fair, I have the cautious hindrance. I feel like my character would be slightly paranoid enough to try to smuggle their weapons regardless. Yeah, you're a rogue. I I feel a little less weird about it, I guess. But mm, mm, uh, I need to grab um, a. No Elias would have probably asked to keep his dagger on him, but his other sword he would have been fine handing off. Because he's in the so middle of the reenacting. That would be good for that. So we'll just use. Uh, who is the. We'll go with. Uh, we'll just use. Oh shit, none of those are good. I don't know what the hell these people are, but we're just gonna use this one. All right, fuck it. Uh, so this would be opposed by notice. Oh, why can't I click that? God damn it! All right, here we go. Notice with a well, at least Elias still has a magic shield. That's true. He does have his fancy. <laughs> yeah. As long as this man isn't a liar. Oh. Okay. They got ten, and you rolled uh, an eight. So definitely would have noticed you with the holy shit. I don't even know who that was. Okay. Uh, so your eight is still the better option. Wait, why did that change? Because oh, he used okay. the bending. Um, and so definitely notices uh, you're trying to, to hide the dagger and tells you that you can't do that. Uh, and to please leave real weapons on the cart to avoid accidents like what happened to Merle. And... Um, yeah, she, she says sort of the same thing to, to Mike Quinn about... Oh, no, you got an 11. Uh, all right. So she'll kind of, uh, with Mike Quinn specifically, lean into her and whisper right before the fight. All right, just don't let anyone else see it. Uh, and you can keep uh, whatever your weapon was. Yeah. All right. Now that we've done that. Um, let's kill my brain here. Get rid of that thing. Okay, we're not in combat yet. All right. Killed your what? My. Uh, he killed. My we groove. killed his. We killed my groove. Oh. We, we killed his oh, dungeon groove. daddy. We succeeded, you guys. No, dungeon I'm daddy so is still excited. alive currently. Um, no. He will be at the very least the sole survivor. No. All right, so uh, real quick before we continue into this, if you look around, um, you see kind of on the edges of the map, there looks like flames, kind of, little yeah. uh, artistic markings. That, in this uh, campaign, is called the fray. It represents the clash of battle and catastrophes and unexpected events going on around you. Okay. Uh, if you go into the fray, you have to start making rolls to avoid getting hurt. Um so, like, when you go out there, like, you're, you're walking into danger, there's all sorts of stuff going on, you could take damage. Also, sometimes, in some battles, there'll be a running table where unexpected things will come out of the fray, and uh, or unexpected events will happen on the battlefield. Uh, so, just so you recognize what that is, if you go in that, that is like a danger zone where you can start taking damage. Okay. Good to know. What if I go into the fray to save a life? You'll you might take damage. So I would think twice about it. All right, so, all right, you see these guys on the horses down here? They're about to roll down. Let's go ahead and get our initiative. All right. Uh, new encounter. Grab you all. Oh, actually, I don't want the horses. Shit. Damn it. Fuck. Not too late. The horses are involved. All right, let me just... Uh... Can I just do that? 
Nope. Are these soldiers all going in one turn? Or are they wild die? Uh, these are extras. These are extras, so they will go on the same turn. Oh no, we're fighting centaurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it. Now I'll add you guys um, right here. And Cutie has her own initiative, and so does Rubai. Why do you Rubai? Cutie is uh, like on the stands, though. <clears throat> yeah, she's a way back. She's a ways back. Um, if you don't want her to participate at all, I could just leave her off. But for now, she's yeah, got a king. She's got all our weapons. <laughs> Um, all right, so Sheikah's King, is anybody unhappy with their card drawn and would like to spend a Benny Me. to try to get a better one? Nope. Me. Playing with the Queen of Hearts, baby. Yeah, I'll try to get a better one. Play with the Queen of Hearts. Why does everybody want Dungeon Daddy to die? It's not that they want Dungeon Daddy to die, it's just they want you to have your new mic. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's an awful lot of people theorizing on how he's going to die in this battle in chat. Oh, uh, the character. Not all right, so chat. who spent one? Me. I did, too. Okay. Draw. Uh, that was uh, Elias, or was that Valrock? Oh, Elias. Elias. It's okay. Uh, draw a card. Uh, the one you've got is currently better because it would have been a three of diamonds, so we'll keep that one. Oh. Everybody good? Ah, I'll stick with what I got. Yep. I guess. All right. So Cutie has uh, first action, and uh, currently Cutie is just lying under the shade of the, uh, the bleachers, um, dreaming about catching Whiny Arudai. Uh, when Cutie hears the screams and looks cross-eyed out to the left of the field where the battle's actually happening. Um, and goes you, right because she's cross-eyed. Do you, do you want Cutie to actually come towards you guys? She's loyal, of course. Okay. Cutie will start heading that way. Uh, it'll be a little bit, but she's on her way. Oh, hey, wow, my guys actually went pretty fast. I'm proud of them. Uh, so let's see, this thing has a... Fantastic. Uh, this one is going to go one, two, three, four, five. So these guys are actually on horses? Yes. Who oh, thought that shit. was a good idea? Uh, Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> is For it them. dangerous? Well, yeah, I mean, because they were originally part of the the battle, like the fake battle, obviously, but then they, you know, showed their true colors. There were horses involved in this fake battle. Yeah, yeah, the forces of Istar came in on horses, so they're just That's trying to be faithful to insane. history. These people are insane. Lies. <laughs> That's so dangerous. <laughs> Lies. Ten. Okay. The horses come rushing across the field, leaping over the wall and rushing towards you guys. Oh shit, I left the guy behind. He's fine. He's gonna make it to about here. As they all come charging towards you, and that is, uh... uh that was their movement. The, uh... The guy on top of the horse here is going to try to do a contest against... He's going to lock eyes with Elias. And he's going to try to intimidate you, Elias, if you could uh, respond with a spirit roll. Well, damn. <laughs> you know, I'm going to Benny that and see if I do better. Bam. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, so you s technically come out on top there. All right, so you're good. 
Uh, well, I didn't cool. pass anyways. But if I had passed, uh, you would have came out on top. Uh, this guy uh, is going to do the same thing, but he's going to do it towards uh, Richard. Can Richard even see it with only one eye? The other eye works. <laughs> I can't That's see right. that far. <laughs> it's too far away. It's hard to read. What, what am I doing? A spirit? A spirit. A spirit. See if you are intimidated by this man. You can't knock my spirit. Oh, if this if this is for fear, everybody within uh, all my allies, or I guess within ten feet, he's not within ten feet. Get a plus one to fear checks. It's, I don't think it's fear; it's just intimidation. I've right, been in bloodier battles than you could possibly imagine. Oh damn! So all right, up. you're good too. And then the last one, we'll do it against uh, Lupinius. All right, spirit. As I try to look intimidating, as they shout and charge with their weapons glinting in the air. Wow. My rolls are awful. Uh, you know what? We're going to throw out another Benny here. See if I can't get at least one of you. Damn. Yeah. Oh, well. All right. And now it's going to go to Jan Stamos. All right. Um, so in order to target one of these, I just click on their token. Is that right? Double right click, I believe, is what Double it Double right you click. Sh technically, should be able to just push T as you hover over them, but sometimes it doesn't work. If it doesn't, then yeah, you got to uh, double right click. Uh, how do I know if I'm targeting them? You see the little red? Like, it'll like have like a red like claw to it. It's not doing it. Then you're not targeting it. Yeah, double right oh, click. Oh, there it is. Me. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then I will use a single uh, PowerPoint, and I shall cast my fairy missile, in which I outstretch my hand, and the same uh, green and purple bolts kind of spin around each other, only at an almost uh, uh, imperceptible rate and strike my enemy. Whoa, where did that come from? No, just ignore it. I was reading my spell. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Uh, yeah, that, that obviously hits, so roll some damage. So that would shake him. Um... Alright, not much I can do about that. Alright, so you have shaken the guy on the horse. He is shaken. Well Hell done. yes. And then that is... Uh, I'm not sure how the action economy works here. Is that all I can do this turn? Or... So you can do up to three actions in a turn, but you have to declare you're doing three actions before you roll, because you get minuses for that. Um... Oh, yeah, okay. Basically, then, you can um, do whatever three actions that's... you want for the most part. You okay. can move, and then... You can move. Um, okay, so I cannot do anything else other than move this turn, is that right? Correct. Since I didn't declare it? Okay. Unless um, you have an ability that's a free action, which I don't know that you do. Yeah. I do not. However, I will move up behind... Richard, since he is the furthest forward, in preparation for my next turn. And that is it. Lupinius! Well, I don't have any of my actual weapons, so I'm probably just gonna move up next to Richard and that'll be my turn. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you can use an action to take the... Uh... The padding off of your spear, if you'd like. Uh, okay. I'll do that. All right. Do you need to you roll can go to your theatrical to spear, and if you click edit on your theatrical spear on the damage, there's a minus three because it's padded. You can take that minus okay. three off. All right. Very nice. All right. And then Elias. 
Uh, Elias is going to step in front of the rest of his group and kind of brace the spear towards the incoming mercenary. So he kind of gets himself ready to take the brunt of the first horse that comes at them with his spear aiming for the rider, of course. All right, so you want to hold an action to attack the rider, yeah? Yep, yep, whichever one moves in first. So, um, there are rules for this. We will talk about it when we get there. But, uh, yeah, if somebody's charging at you on Calvary um, and you're trying to, like, brace against them, it will be competing athletics checks when you get there, just so you know. Uh, all right, so this goes to Elias. Okay, that was you. My queen. Okay. Awesome. I have a great idea. First step of my idea is I'm going to use my adventure card. Which uh -oh. gives me a plus two to all trade for total for the rest of this round. Then I'm going to use my hex, which makes my ability to use Shadows Embrace um, as a free bonus action, uh, free limited bonus action, but I can use it for free. So I'm going to use that and I am going to spend more charges to boost the traits of fighting of Lupinius, Dick, and Elias. All right. So, uh, do, 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 do. so hold on. So let me roll that. I'm gonna have Benny that. Hold on. Oh, that's much better. Very nice. Okay, so now your fighting skill goes up by two die levels. So go to your traits, edit your fighting skill. And if your fighting skill says it's a D6, then make it a D10. So go up two dice levels and it is for 10 minutes. FYI. So <laughs> oh, it's wow. for new three. Damn. Mine's yeah, a right. D12 right now. Yeah, mine just that. turned into a D12. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, so hold on. So let me fix my power. So that should. So See, then it doesn't, I'm gonna it doesn't spend... matter what she plays. No matter what she plays, she gets freaking double raises on everything. <laughs> I'm going to spend the Benny to refresh all my power points. So that's my free action. Yay! Now I am going to use fear. On is it a free piece. action or is it just free and that it doesn't cost like a PowerPoint. Uh well it's it's free as a hex. Uh but also I do have to cast I had I have to spend PowerPoints to add it to more people. So I had to spend PowerPoints to add it for you and then for Lupinius. Gotcha. Okay. So then Thank I'm you. gonna use fear my favorite one, <laughs> Devoured by Night. Oh, God. I know what I that it. one does. <laughs> oh, yes. Man. So, uh, so for the Shadows Embrace, what you guys, uh, if you're, I guess you're not, my queen is like back, so you don't really see it. But what you feel is you feel that the shadows uh, come out from the ground and embrace you. And then you feel more powerful. Um, and then I'm going to do Devoured by uh, Devoured by Night, which is my fear. And for this one... Yay, I got a penny. <laughs> for this one, I'm going to... So I'm going to have... Can I see what a medium template looks like? Yeah, just click on the MBT. On your roll. Okay. Okay, so if I put it here, it grabs all three, right? Or yeah, do it's going to get the horses too, one? just so you know. But, um, so that one would get three horses and two um, soldiers. That one soldier would not yep. be affected. 
Okay, that's fine. So I will do fear. And I will roll. I am gonna Benny that. Oh wait, I did it without the plus two. It took it out. So it should have a plus two on the... So it should be with a race, technically. Uh, I guess it won't let me add that. It should have been with a raise. Okay. Because mm -hmm. your result was a 5, 7... Uh, no, it's got to be an 8 to be a raise, right? Uh, I will re-roll it. Okay. Yeah. Nope, I will... Damn it, I'll spend one more Benny. And then we'll see what happens. He really wants to fucking, like, just scare the shit of these guys. Okay, you got it now. Um, right. So you got the raise. So now that means they all have to roll the fear table. I guess I should just add the fear table to my damn hot bar. Apparently I'm going to be using this a lot. <laughs> uh, Probably a good idea. Yeah. Let me grab that off your power here. So are we going to get fan art of Sevi as a scarecrow now at this point? Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, if so. you do fan art, if you do fan art for this show and you either put it in the Gilded in the fan art section or uh, tag us on Twitter and post it there, um, they can get a Benny, a free Benny, um, only one per week, but they can get a free Benny if there's artwork of them done. Alternatively, if you draw, you know, my characters, the NPCs or the monsters, I get a Benny. Just throwing it out there. Yep. So what, this, so what this looks like, Devoured by Night, basically, they will see, like, monsters or shadows come out of the ground trying to grab them. So they'll see the shadows with the claws and everything, like, trying to grab the horses and their faces. Apparently I can't drag this on there right now, so I'm just going to roll it for now and I'll add it later. Boom. All right, one character is shaken. That'll be the first horse. Second character, which is the soldier, will be shaken. Uh, his, oh, well, oh, I forgot his horse. It doesn't have its own action. It, um, I feel like it would be affected by fear anyways. Uh, so it gets to act as if it has a Joker this round? Uh, I don't know how that works, but... I think it just means like they can go when... That horse could go whenever, but I mean... Alright, so the can... final horse is vulnerable. Um, Alright, so net results here. Um, they're all at least shaken and the second guy, or I'm sorry, the third soldier gets to act as if he has a Joker and the final horse is vulnerable but they already went so they already they can't go again uh the hero's first once over he acts as if he had a joker this action uh i don't know i think that means he gets to do something because he gets an adrenaline surge mm -hmm. is what it's saying um, um so yeah he's gonna push... yeah but I... go ahead oh Okay, well, the Joker allows you to go whenever you want, so I'm assuming it, it would mean that they could go after this, but they already had their action. It doesn't say they get an additional action. It just says that, you know, they act as if the Joker, they had the Joker. If they had the Joker, they already went. But it adds the clarifier, this action. So I think it's saying it's, they basically mm -hmm. just get to run. Because he's shaken, okay. and when you're shaken, the only thing you can do is move. You can't actually take an action action. So I think the idea here is basically they run. Okay. Um, so he is going to... Uh, where are you at? Because he's afraid of you specifically. Yeah, he's going to freaking run down this way. And... This horse also got scared, so he's going to run this way and leap over this wall. Uh, and his rider is going to have to make a riding skill because it's bucking. Uh, which is just a d4, but for some reason... Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. Oh, d6. D6, okay. Uh, they do succeed on staying on their horse. 
uh, as the horse flees. And then the Oops. other horse is just shaking. Alright. Insane. Well done! So all of you are boosted and your foes are scared shitless. Richard! Also, just so that you know, JJ just like left and rejoined, so you might not be able to hear him. We were doing it on purpose. We said before the stream that we wanted to blow the news out, so we're just going to yeah. conspire it against him. I him. knew it. All right, there we go. It was Moss. I point. knew it. I was eating sun chips. All right, All so right. I can, uh, I'd like to take the <laughs> cover well, off. For some here. reason, my Taskmaster says, killing my computer. Great. I'd like to take the cover off the spear and throw it. I can do that with a penalty, right? Yep, it would just be a multi-action of minus two, or two actions. Okay. And I can, I don't know what the range of a spear is uh, in this particular game. Uh, they do it in short, uh, long, and extreme, I believe is how it goes. Uh, but it should auto-calculate it when you target them and do all the things on its own. But let me see, it's... Um, I'm just going to add a regular spear to my inventory here and get rid of the theatrical one. 3, 6, 12. So 3 squares, 6 squares, and 12 squares is the short, long, extreme. Okay. Uh, all right. I will uh, maneuver my way closer then. Whoops. There's so many things in the way on the top left. What is all this? There we go. Us. Okay. Uh, I'll get within three, I guess. I can move six. So tell me where that needs to be with these diagonals. Uh, diagonals, are, we're just treating them like 5e. So you can just, uh, yeah, one, two, three, and then, hey, there you go. Is he, is he technically right there or like where? Yeah, he's in that square, the upper left-hand square. So right there. Okay, so I'll get one closer. Then I can move the horse if you uh, aren't able to target him. And uh, I will throw the spear. Uh, I guess I can use my conviction now. It lasts the whole round, right? Yep. So just yeah, yeah, click the word yeah. conviction at the top and yep. it should start glowing. Yep. You and go. you can spend a Benny ah, to, okay. to keep it to the next round. So yeah. you can find a Benny right. to have the conviction next round. Uh, so I'm throwing the spear, center mass. I don't have any disadvantages on this because he's within uh, 30 feet with my Fantastic. one eye. Is this fighting for a throwing weapon or shooting? I'm assuming fighting. Uh, yeah, it's fighting for a spear. Well, when you when you click the spear, it should automatically select the relevant Oh, I didn't put the spear in my um, saved things. My special. So otherwise, it won't. Just yeah, if you do this, it won't calculate the damage right. Um, <laughs> you just twisted him from thirty feet away. Damn. That's not going to do the damage though with the fighting. Uh, go ahead and do the spear real quick. All right, and we're just going to. Uh, Modify your result. Uh, I didn't mean to click that again. You've doomed us all. Here, just reroll until we get a uh, raise. You can't just manually do it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then just um, so normally you just click the two dice, click the one that says plus, and it has raise damage. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that looks like that it's gonna is, hurt. That is a hell of a roll. Uh, all right. <sighs> I like to think he just goes flying off the back of the horse. I'm gonna try to soak that, but uh, how many wounds is it? Two? Fuck. 
Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn, I might do it. Did I do it? Uh, I did. I soaked it. So I spend the Benny, and he does soak it. So it hits him, uh, but it kind of like he moves to the side and it glances off his armor, and uh, he manages to avoid being incapacitated. I, I can't do a third one, can I? A third action? It's just two. You can do three, you but you have to declare two. it up front, yeah. Cause yeah, you have to oh. declare it Because if you do three, it's minus four to everything. If you do two, it's minus two to everything. And if you do one, it's regular. I don't like the... I don't like these bennies. I don't like the idea of a DM having bennies. That's baloney. <laughs> anti have that, So do my baloney. wild cards. So do my wild cards. Um, all right. So, well done. Uh, you did get me to use the Benny. That is something. Whiny Arudai. Or what? Just nothing happens to him. <laughs> no, because he's soaked. Yeah, he soaks it and he's um, like, it glances off his armor. No, it's. I think we're. I think. Yeah, I think they're just gonna stay where he's at. David, it's. Uh, when he rolled it off the spear, it did do athletics. It just. Um, yeah, it automatically did it. You'll, if you scroll up, you'll see. Or I guess I can scroll up. See, he did athletics. It. it still says athletics, D6, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what it should be. Just take away, take away the player's fun, I get it. That's <laughs> all right, I in the turn. Oh my god, what just happened? Okay, so did you just try to draw I... a card? Mm, no. Oh, I clicked and turn. Oh, oh, you automatically did some weird shit. No, I clicked um, and turned, and I think that just, that just, we can, I click, I think, I guess when I clicked and turned, it automatically got a card for everybody. Uh, kind of weird. Why is it drawing for everybody now? Well, it changed the initiative order. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Unless that happens every round. round. I think, like, maybe, like, if the last person clicks wow. and turn, maybe it takes them to round three. And he just automatically oh. does it. I drew the uh, black joker. Yeah, that is something weird. Uh... What's happening? Wow. Wow. I just got two uh, I'll take the red joker. Holy yeah. shit. Nice. Uh, all right, I think going forward, just let me click next. Sure. That is something really yep. weird. But um, it's, regardless, this worked out really great for you guys. Two of you got jokers. Damn. Elias and Jan Stamos, mm -hmm. which means everybody got two bennies. And for Elias and Jan Stamos, on your turn, everything you're doing is getting a plus two to it. Uh, remember, oh, yeah. Joker, you can act basically whenever you want to. Um, so you can interrupt somebody else's action. You can wait till later or you can go right now. Uh, red does trump black, though. So, Elias, you get first option to go first if you want. Uh, I would like to use my uh, my edge to draw a new card until I get five or higher. Uh, oh. Okay, let me fix that real quick. Draw a card. Draw a card. Draw a card. All right, so you got that. All right. Oh, well, if we got Benny's, I can spend one to re-roll my uh, initiative, right? Mm-hmm. If you want, that. yeah. Can I click on it somewhere here? Just... Mark your Benny down one, and I'll draw the card for you. Sure. And uh, that did work out for you. You get a six of hearts. All right. Actually, Everybody good? Apparently my edge, uh, my edge is a card higher than five, so I guess six or higher than. So real quick, uh, since I was part of that when I was on the phone that I could not listen because all the credit cards went down at work, and so they asked me to fix that. Um, did we see something as to why everybody took the protective things off the spears, or are we just killing people without actually knowing if this is dangerous? They're attacking. No, we yeah, we're evil now. Somebody. No, they murdered yeah, people somebody. people are dying okay, cool. all around you. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. No, no, there was just, there was just like two minutes that I had to like tell somebody yeah. how to iTech and restart an entire system, so I missed a couple minutes. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, with that in mind, then I'm going to go first. All right, hold on. I got to fix uh, Lucinius's because he gets to draw one more. Uh, Alright, so now you've got a nine of hearts. There you go. Alright. This edge is already working out great. 
All right, so yeah, why you said you want to go first? Go for it. Yeah, I'm going to rush this guy. Gypsy. Um, and attack him with the spear. That if I, I missed that thing, I would have taken the top off or whatever. Sure you want to do that? He's probably just going to soak it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> Don't worry. If we hit him enough, he'll use up all his bennies. Yeah, basically, that's what you have to do. Is it? What? It's not letting me roll. Dog, leave me alone. Oh, that's <laughs> why, because it's not in my main hand. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let's try that. Oh my god, why is it not letting me roll the spear? Did you did you have him like right click? Did you did you select him? He's targeted. He's got yeah. the little claw thing on him. It's just it's not doing anything when I click the spear. Just click um, on the picture of the spear. Click the, the picture. picture. Click in the picture. Okay. There we there go. go. Okay, there we go. A few times. All right, we'll do this one. And we'll go ahead and just use a Benny because we got a bunch of them. There you go. That's a hit. All right. And then... Damage. Is it now? Uh, so currently that damage would only shake him. Are you happy with that? No. No. That damage would also only shake him. Are you happy with that? <sighs> Darn it. <laughs> hey, there's He's a one. The there we go. He's rolling the slots. Uh, all right, I'm going to try to we'll get there this. eventually. All right, I do get a successful soak. So you kind of thrust at him and you do kind of like nick his leg, drawing a little blood, but not enough to wound him to the point of being incapacitated. Okay. Um, would I have had to declare that I was going to try to pull him off the horse as well? Or can I try to do that now too? Yes, you have to declare if you're doing yeah. uh, nope, you're how many actions you're going to do in a round at the start. Gotcha, gotcha. All good. Well, then that is my turn. All right. Jan Stamos. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see. How long does this last? I should. I apologize. I should have looked at this duration five. Is that if something is duration five, is that duration five turns? Correct. OK, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, actually, quick question. Um, so if I go to my traits, my spell casting is a D10, yet when I cast my power, it's at a D8. Are you rolling the right dice? I'll, I when I so if I cast my if I cast my bolt, I click on the like the the two D6 next to it, and then that puts it over in chat, and then I roll it. No, it's a ten. Well now. I'm, you just gotta Last click on time the, it was an eight. Yeah, just click on the... Go to your powers page, and then... Or wait, did you uh -huh. put it on your front? Okay. And then click on the little eye symbol or whatever it is to the left. Oh, that's the one I clicked. Okay, I clicked the wrong one. Okay. So... Yep, and then just make sure I you're targeting the right person. To, I try to finish him off. <laughs> you all have your targets on that same guy. Poor dude. Holy shit. Double raises. All right, so click the damage to the plus die. Oh, here he goes. Damn it. All right, uh, got to try to soak two, huh? All right, I'm going to use one more Benny. Uh-oh. Damn. Damn, that is uh, not a soak. Um, Bleh! I'm going right. to Dragon Ball yeah, he's dead. this shit and just like, Gah! Oh, so that magical, colorful energy fly. The spears don't work, but your magical, colorful energy gets him. Um, yeah, he is getting gonna... dragged now by the horse. And then can I move up? I'm going to move up a little bit closer to, oh, how do I, uh... oh, that's not, that's why. One, two, three, four. I'm going to move up a little bit closer to Elias and try to predict his movements here. So I'm, I can move. Can I move? Wait, hold on. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 
All right. Um, also, oh shit, I just realized I got to. Uh, I'm gonna unincapacitate him. It's not a Kamehameha if it's a, it's a conspiracy wave. But you yes. accidentally killed the entire group. <laughs> And just uh, you have to untarget the guy down there, but this is gonna be the one that's dead. Yeah, so we're just gonna remove him altogether. All right. Um, well done. And uh, on this round, uh, two things are gonna happen. Um, Jan Stamos, as you're running forward, you're gonna look into the fray, and off in the distance, you're gonna see Dungeon Daddy getting hit by multiple assailants at once. And every time he gets hit, he just seems to get stronger and fights back with more rage and vigor. Oh, it's gross. Um, for you guys outside of that, though, I've got to do this. Let's see. All right, so you see an injured member of the Vogler militia uh, crawling onto the battlefield, begging for help. Uh, so we're gonna put a um, we're gonna put a guy over here, kind of just crawling out. Uh, but this particular one over here, uh, he is not an enemy. This guy over here coming out of the fray, he's a good guy, but he looks injured uh, and he's crawling for help, and he he looks like he's in desperate need of being saved. So with the uh, with the Joker, uh, with the Joker, does that still only allow me to do what I was going to do on my turn, and that's it? Like, can I still interrupt something? No, yeah, it's only on the turn. So you can basically okay. pick to start your turn whenever you want. But once you start your turn, yeah, that's kind of where you're at. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. So this guy has to unshake from being afraid. So let's go ahead and have him do a shake here. Vigor roll. All right, he is no longer shaken, so we can take that off. Um, and uh, getting over the fear of what McQuinn did to him, he is going to turn looking kind of uh, determined and grim. He's going to charge a Jan Stamos. Rude. And he is going to attack him with a spear. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Not yawn. Now, it doesn't matter now, but when I look back at that, since I meleeed this guy and the spear rolled a d6, should I have been rolling my fighting instead? Instead of my athletics? Because no, it was no for spears, it is athletics. Okay, uh, so whenever athletic. you click on the okay, weapon, the weapon, it will itself. default to what it's yeah, supposed gotcha. to be. Gotcha. So the spear is yeah, should be Yeah, it should be athletics for the spears. How does that make yeah. sense? No. Uh, it's what the rules say. Alright, so that is what I got here, and then he is going to try to hit you with his it. spear at plus four because he is charging. At plus four? Whoo! Doggy. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna hit you, dude. Okay. Uh, Wow. And ooh, there is some damage coming in there for you, Jan Stamos, but you can attempt to soak. I would like to do that. How do I do that? Uh, if you look over in chat, just click where it says soak vigor roll. And it'll spend a Benny and do it for you. Good roll. That is Very a good nice. roll. So you do. Okay, you succeed. Fuck yeah. Mm. But now, uh, am I... Two wait, raises. does that mean I'm... So, 
Does this you mean I'm not wound. shaken then? You are not even shaken. Yeah, if you if you get rid of all the wounds, the shaken automatically goes away uh, on an attack. So you got enough to actually soak three wounds as a fucking caster. Hell Good job. Yeah. Hell yeah. I like to imagine that as soon as he comes and tries to swing... What is he using? A spear? Yeah. As soon as he tries to jab his spear, I kind of like snap, and there's like a green flash of light that kind of sends his aim off, kind of blinds him for a quick second like a flashbang. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, he's, he kind of like, ah, and like stabs at like the, you know how when you stare in the light too long, there's like, a, you can just see the shape of whatever you're staring at. Yeah, he, he stabs at the shape of you instead. Well done. Uh, that is all he can do. And uh, this how course... Is it, how is it that their spears are fighting, but their spears are athletics? Is it because they have a short he's, spear? He's using it as melee. But I was doing that too. Yeah, I mean, like, so because like when I'm looking at when he rolled, it says fighting d6. It doesn't say athletics. Yeah, mine said athletics. Because I have a d12 on my fighting, I would prefer to use that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say. Yeah. Athletics might be for the ranged attack. Yeah, it's supposed to be for Throne, because I, if I look up my precise strike ability, it says I get my adding to Athletics, and then in parentheses it says Throne, Fighting, or whatever the other one is, so... Uh, uh, is strength. Both of these are ranged. Did I give him the... Oh, there's a ranged version, and there's a physical version. Properties uses fighting for up close and then uses athletics for throne. Yeah, so if you Literally threw it, it's athletics. It. If it's up close, it should be fighting. Um, so there's two different versions of the spear. So if you drag the ranged one onto your sheet, you need to drag the melee one as well. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. I'm assuming QT does nothing. Oh, no, wait, hold on. They're still going. Uh, there's, yeah, there's still more of these guys. This They're horse going. is going to uh, flee into the fray. Probably going to die out there, but that's okay. Uh, and then this guy down here was uh, sort of scared. He's going to do his unshake as well. Damn, he is still shaking. Uh, God. Oh, he's a Benny. Mm. Yeah, he's a Benny. To get out of that, so he's no longer shaken. <laughs> that didn't work. Well, no, if you spend a Benny for shaken, it's automatic. It, it takes it off. Oh, really? Uh, specifically mm -hmm. for shaken. All right, so he is going to turn around. Actually, I don't know if he can see, because he even got enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, perfect, he does. Uh, he's going to charge forward at Elias. Uh, and he will make his roll with his spear. Uh, also at plus four. And he will get a normal success, which I would like a raise, but I'm not spending any more bennies. No, I think you should. Damn. That sucks. I'm a, I'm a tank, man. I'm going to be tough. Yeah. He almost drowned in that plate armor. Mm, so I am so I tempted. I'm so tempented, but oh, I am not. Oh, thank you, James. Thank you, James, for the donation for tomorrow. Hey, thank you, James. Nice. All right. Um, all right. Yeah, he's just going to he's going to pass. All right. So it's going to go to Cutie, uh, who is still making her way over here. One more round and she will be to my queen, my queen, my queen, my queen. I mispronounce my. her name forever. Mike, as he sips tenderly from his My Queen cup. There was no tenderness. 
Ah, James Cash <laughs> made a, do a donation for Mummy's Mask tomorrow. Yeah. If we just said... <laughs> I know, he's not paying attention. Okay. It's a whole conversation. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. can, we, can we get some fan I was so focused on other things. Can we okay. get some fan art so... of Moss as a slowpoke, please? <laughs> what I'm gonna I was, do... I was too focused is... on the lizard people. I'm going research. to hex... I'm going to hex the two soldiers to lower their fighting skills. Their fighting die. You better not get fucking raises and on this. I'm gonna be pissed. I will do a conviction on this. God damn it, Sevy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Oh, you are the worst. Two dies down. Let's go. That means you get a D2. <laughs> I mean, that was so awesome. Let's go. You can't go lower than a D4, but I think it starts going to minus one. So it's D4 minus one or something like that. Basically, okay, well, that's ridiculous. Uh, sure. These guys are screwed. <laughs> and then I am going to cast fear on both of those. Let's see the yeah, medium template should work. Why do you hate these guys so much? Because they tried They're to kill us. They're trying to kill us. They're trying to kill us. I, I gotta side with her on that. I prefer to not die. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oops. God damn it. What did you do? Oh god. All right. I got. I got two races. Two races for fear. Here we go again. Uh, well, they're extra, so they immediately panic. Um, and then they have to and also roll to get a raise. When they flee. You also get a raise, so I gotta roll off the table too. Does it matter that it's two races, or is it just one race? Does it, matter? Uh, it only matters, you only need the one raise to get it to the fear table. The other race doesn't really make a difference here. Um, all right, devoured by night, fear table. Oh, King Darth Dave, the reason why I get to cast two things is because I get Hex as a witch. So, um, my Hex allows me to cast something as a free action. That's why. Alright. Uh, so I got a 5 and a 17. Distracted so, think about panics. it as a bonus action, Dave. Alright, they both panic. Uh, the character immediately moves his full pace plus running die away from the danger and is shaken, and the other guy is also distracted. Uh, Yay. wow. Just wow. Take your opportunity, text guys, with your D12s. Yeah, oh, do we, does that mean I, does that I don't mean? think, I don't get a D12, I don't, I don't believe, right? Yeah, you don't, but, uh... <laughs> Oh, I do, Bias right? does, and it's gonna be bad for me. I just pulled a, I just pulled a short spear over because that's a melee. It, yeah, 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 yeah that's the, the other one. There's a melee version okay. and a ranged version. Yep. Oh, there's, there's also version. just spear there. The rate, the ranged one is athletics. If you're throwing it, it's gonna be athletics. Got uh, it. But I can't cast a bolt as a as a opportunity attack. I don't believe so. So it would make now sense the, if I couldn't. Two, the two with the check marks, is that a raise or what does that mean? Is it that just is a raise. Two raise. So, um, yeah, it's a raise. Yeah, you get to. Now make sure you're targeting the one that's near you before you. Um... Oh, shit. You already targeted, but it should do it. So go ahead and roll the. We'll see, we'll see. Where the dice are, hit the one that says plus a dice. That'll give you the raise that you earned. Holy crap. Yeah, we're going to keep that. Yeah, I'm not going to soak yeah. that. I'm just going to let him die. Um, so he's dead. I rolled an 18 and you soaked mine. <laughs> I feel well, like I'm I've only got here. three bennies <laughs> left. Um, okay, I'll let it off this time. Uh, he is going to flee. Uh, turns his horse around and he's going to. It says the first way Jan possible. So he goes over. into the fray. He goes into the fray, so he's gonna make it. Elias, and just sees him grab this guy like behind the shoulder with a spear and just yank him off the horse. Oh, oh my! So strong. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm channeling my inner George Decay. 
Okay. Oh so my. Bad. Oh my. All right, so he's in the fray now. Probably not good for him. Um, yeah, he's in some trouble. All right, and then what are you doing? we go to Lupinius. What are you doing? All right. That guy's distracted, right? Uh, yes, he is distracted. That's correct. Okay. I'm gonna move my full movement. And then I'm going to target him. And I'm going to attempt to throw the spear as a ranged weapon. Let me make sure I pick the right one. And since he's distracted, I get to apply sneak attack. That's on the damage, though. All right, hold on. Yeah, so uh, in the center of your, uh, when you roll your attack. Yes. Um, go ahead and roll it real quick. Yeah, one second, I'm gonna equip the uh, the range spear. Okay. Right, and in the center where it says no action selected. Yeah. Uh, in there should be. Oh, does this weapon not qualify for sneak attack? Oh, oh it may not. It looks like this weapon is not a sneak attack weapon. Um, okay. All right, so it's not going to let you do that, but... Uh, yeah, what I'll about see. a short spear? Because we're all using short spears, right? Uh, I used all my movements, so I can't get closer. No, I, I mean, I don't think the, the, the weapon we're using is the spear. I think we're using short oh. spears. Uh, yeah. I, for, for a ranged attack, I'm using the spear. No, I know that, but what I'm saying is that it's a different weapon. There's a spear in there, and there's a short spear. I, I'm pretty sure we're using short spears. Well, we're using the short spears to get the melee stuff to it. Because normally we had the theatrical spear, but we were using them in melee, yeah, it's, so it's we're just it's drag a melee one over, just because yeah, we're using it in melee. The spear, comma, so short is your melee. The short spear slash javelin is the thrown version. I know, but he... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> He's using a spear. It's it's a different thing. Oh, he grabbed regular spear. Uh, let me see. Should be the same as the theatrical, though. Still don't know if it would count, but we can try it. Uh, let's see. The Pinius, let's give you a short spear. See if that makes a difference. Okay. What, what are the qualifiers for your sneak attack? Yeah. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, athletics, victim. fighting, or shooting attacks. Oh, it's because he's distracted, not vulnerable. That's why. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so he needs to be vulnerable, or you have to have the drop on him, which currently you okay. don't have either of those. Okay, got it. All right, well, regardless, I'm just going to try to hit him. to re-equip the spear because <laughs> you're messing around with all that. That, that'll do it. Uh, okay, yeah, he's probably, yeah, I'm not even gonna suck that. He's definitely dead. <laughs> All right. Um, is um, Wainy Erudai going to do anything? <laughs> Watch this poor man die. It's gonna he's come next to me, and it's, uh, I think it's probably gonna be happy, so I'm gonna pet his head. We How did about... good, Wine Yerudai. Look at this. You are so amazing, mistress. Incredible, really. Richard. 
Uh, my goodness. Uh, I will I mean, assist the dying man. Yeah. Make me a medicine or a healing check. If you have it, if not, do unskilled. I'm going to spend a Benny to continue my conviction. Okay. Um, can I pull him a little ways as well? Start pulling him maybe toward this card over here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, that's as far as I can get right there. Um, okay. Mm, this one. Does that become oh. a... Uh, or, okay. Okay, it does. Holy shit. Is somebody still Holy alive? Holy shit. Yeah, this guy's alive. Yeah, dang. <laughs> okay, uh, he was, yeah, fatigued and uh, probably going to die, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what Richard does for healing. You can tell me. I put my thumb in the hole. But that is his wound. You know, thumb, stick just, a thumb in just it. FYI's, just FYI's, I, just FYI, I am a healer. Like, my cast is to hex and to I heal. don't think we need you anymore, my queen. Yeah. If you want to go I mean, like, to some other party, you you're when you got Richard's thumb, apparently. <laughs> okay, but at least, like, my like boost Aragorn. and lower traits were extremely helpful. At least. Oh, no, no, absolutely. <laughs> you, you absolutely ravaged these guys. They just couldn't do shit. Jesus. I didn't do any damage. You guys didn't, but I helped. Uh, and I'll, I'll kind of slide his spear over to Lapinius so he can start working on... Maybe getting us another weapon, <laughs> if he wants to. <laughs> if there's nothing to do next turn. Uh, yeah. well... Is a hulking end? figure yeah. swinging a formidable battle axe leads a band of mercenaries through the chaos. He cuts through the few remaining members of Ogre's militia as he draws closer. He looks Mutee! over at you guys, and he, uh, he looks at Elias standing next to that dead body, and he says, look here, we got one who still thinks this is a game. And then he orders his men to charge. Uh, let me show you what's coming Please on the do. battlefield here. Um, as they, as he says that, especially Jan, you'll see Elias will kind of twist the spear and pull it just to get a little bit of extra carnage on it. Pull the shield up and point straight at that giant guy. Yeah, fantastic. Um, his uh, and... his childness has seemed to disappear a little bit in the midst of battle here. Yeah, and so this half ogre something within him. This half ogre is a wild card, just so you know. Uh, and that is going to be our cliffhanger. Until next week. Oh. Cutie, get over here with our weapons, you bet, you damn cat. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, Alright, let me open this back up, take you guys to the uh, landing page, and then let me swoosh us over to face it. Alright, so your first taste of pretty legitimate combat here as a group, and uh, holy hell, man. Insane at your rolls tonight, especially those fucking spells from Sevi. I gotta figure out a way to to get rid of her dice simps. Um, <laughs> but hey, we get an extra fighter on our team now. Dude, that guy well, even one? even witches and regular Pathfinder are a pain in the ass. So it's not just Sevi; it's the witch class in general. It's just a giant pain in the ass. I will, I will, I will say I was going to be a knight, and then Ruda kept saying, "No, I think you want to be a witch. Look at how cool witches are. It's like fine, I'll be a witch." So this was all his idea. I, I wanted casually to in passing oh, said, a... <laughs> I said there's a witch in the new advanced players guide. That's all I said. And then you were like, then, well, well, I want to be that. We saw you... how evil it was. And then he tried to say you couldn't be it like last week. I know. He said I couldn't be a witch. It's like he oh, sent me if he sent me a, a message and he said I'm like he told everybody, hey, I checked some of this stuff. Some of we we're gonna need to change people's characters. Uh, so I will send a message to each of you directly. Then he sent me a message to me directly, and he said, Savvy, I am sorry, witches are no longer allowed in Savage Worlds. You can't be a witch anymore. <laughs> so I sent a message to the entire group complaining about how evil Erud I was because he didn't let me be a witch. 
No. True this, story. this whole thing's a lie. This whole thing's a lie. I don't remember but... any of this. I listen, <laughs> not, Chad, I, I need you to memory. understand what kind of person Sevi is, okay? I, I really need you to understand. She's There's a no witch. reason. No reason whatsoever. <laughs> no prompting. I didn't have a conversation with her at all. She just woke up and was like, I just want to troll today. So she logs in. We have this group chat, this video chat, and she just logs in to lie. All she did is lie. She goes, Aruna told me I can't be a witch, so I'm switching to night. And everybody just believed her. They were all like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it makes sense. And, and she's just going along with it. She just lies for no reason. It wasn't even like I said something and she misconstrued it. It's not like uh, she she misunderstood something somebody said in chat. She just felt like waking up and choosing violence for some reason. That is the kind of person that I'm or constantly humor. having to deal with. Yeah. I woke up and chose humor. I think violence. It made me violent. We'll just say that. Um, oh and that's why he's locked in the dungeon. God damn. I know, James. Exactly. He's so mean for trying to make me change my character. I didn't. Mm, okay, we're moving past that because I'm gonna get mad again. I yelled in that chat, and what really made me mad is I even said it's like, guys, she's lying to you, and then they kept believing her anyways. They just kept like having the conversation. I was like, why would why would we believe a fed? Exactly. So I'm right. Uh, um. Hey, I want you to guys didn't you guys, see the so... tears in Sevi's eyes, though. It was true. I mean, she was practically she not. Tears. Out her she nose just woke crying. up and was tired. <laughs> Thank you all for getting the Muppetosis mic fund uh, to eight hundred and ninety dollars. Fifty nine percent. We are almost. We are very good. Sixty percent of the way there. Thanks to you guys. Dungeon Daddy will still be around for a little while. Uh, I'm going to keep the shirt. And uh, hey, you guys are keeping the bar moving, so I'm not going to put out the emojis yet. But if that bar stops moving anytime soon, I might have to bring out the next the next phase of the Dungeon Daddy progression. So just be warned. It can oh, and it will get worse. Um, yeah. Let's go around and, uh, you know, say where you can be found, guys, what you're going to be doing. Uh, and then tag here like, and yeah, today we'll start with Commander N. Uh, well, I'm Commander N, uh, you can just find me in the Kilda chat, really. Um, I've been uh, lurking around there, trying to participate with people, try to get everyone to to speculate about Moss's conspiracy theories. It's all a good time. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tag JJ. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, obviously, <laughs> here's Thursday night. Uh, uh, Starfinder content video guy, so we got some of those coming up here soon. Um, ah, Doug, chill. You're going to knock the desk over. Did uh, Serenity to Witches just find out about Dungeon Daddy? Uh, I think so. I think she just got here. <laughs> oh, poor Serenity. Yeah, Serenity, well, Dungeon so Daddy is here. By the end of October, we will be starting our Sunday mornings, I should say. At 12 p.m., we'll be starting our Strange Winds campaign here on the Geeky Game Show. It'll be super fun if you caught the character creation stream last Sunday. It was a lot of chaos towards the end, and it was a lot of fun. And, yeah, uh, we got all the rewards, and so the campaign will be, will be exciting, and the, it, it's just going to be a lot of fun. Um, or you can find me on my kick there. Just put that in chat. Probably going to jump on. Once I figure out how to stop my dogs from barking, uh, which is something I've been dealing with forever. <laughs> but at the time of the night, I just get attacked in general. So, but yeah, I'm like spending a Benny. For... <laughs> Dude, I've done it. I'm about to give them Benadryls. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, you want to say hi? Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, Sammy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was just looking at the memes channel. But uh, hello, everybody. I am Sevi. Uh, you can find me in Geeks and Gamers Tabletop on uh, Sundays and Mondays for Pokemon, um, Thursdays for March of the Dragon Queen, Fridays for Mommy's Mask. Uh, we'll be doing a Rumble uh, on Saturday, so that should be pretty exciting. Um, otherwise, you can find me in my normal social media, which would be Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, and Kick. Please give those a follow. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to my channel for free, and it will definitely go a long way if you can do that. Um, that would be amazing. Uh, and I think um, 
That is oh, and then we have Moon School. We we stream over at Moon School Baldur's Skate on Tuesdays and Fridays before Mommy's Mask. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll tag uh, Velrock. Yeah, Velrock. That's me. Velrock Art Miniatures is my brand. You can find me on my mini factory um, where you can buy my miniatures. Um, you can also see renders on YouTube, uh, Velrock Art Miniatures. Um, there, we were doing a, a fundraiser. Um, my brand was doing a fundraiser for the Maui Food Bank to support the people in Lahaina. That just ended. Uh, we raised about $700, I think, um, which is wonderful. Um, awesome. We can send that to um, the food bank to help people that are dealing with the fires there. Um, and uh, I've decided to move on to my next uh, fundraiser. Um, this time we're going to be... Um, looking for a cure for muppetosis. Um, so uh, next Saturday on the 21st, uh, you can check out my YouTube <laughs> channel. I will be live streaming a sculpting of uh, Muppet Irudai. Uh, Ew, so we, can, so exciting. <laughs> we can, uh, we can send the, uh, the profit there. Uh, if, if he still has um, a ways to go for his funds to, for the cure, we can send the profits to him for that uh and uh you guys can get uh w once i finish the sculpting um during the live stream i will uh upload it to my uh my only games store which is where you can buy a physical copy so they'll print it out they'll package it they'll send it to you and you can have a little uh muppet iridai to paint for yourselves that's um, so worry. fun that's yeah, so worry. fun i cool. love to love it <laughs> Don't worry, if he finishes funding the mic, you can start funding a VTuber model for him. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what else we can donate the funds to uh, if he has the mic by then. But yeah, the 21st, so next Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, that'll be around, I'll probably start around 2 o'clock um, uh, Mountain Time. So, yeah. Uh, let's see, Moss is left, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, in the, in the spirit of all of the fundraisers for Muppetosis, I feel like I need to organize like a 5K or something like that and <laughs> call it, you know, running from Muppetosis or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do, see if I can get that in the works. That sounds fun. Uh, I don't run. I hate running, but everybody, everybody else can do it. So, uh, but you can uh, follow me on Twitter at Mossmuff. You can find me uh, on Tuesdays sometimes. And on Fridays, all times, on Moon Skull, where I'll be playing uh, Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, Wednesday nights, for the most part, most Wednesday nights, on uh, the Common Nerds channel. And here, on Thursday nights. And I think mm -hmm. that's everything I do at the moment. I think, I think you need to add that the big difference is that we know how to play the game, unlike a Rudai. Who doesn't know oh, how to play Baldur's Gate? That's true. That's not true. I mean, I'm really good. Yeah, I'm we're, really good. we're fucking no, experts, no. and Aruda is a noob. And, I did uh, really good. Exactly. I did no, uh, you did not. Of you. To answer your no. question, Michaela, unfortunately, uh, I will not be able to make it on Saturday night. Is that everybody? Oh, yeah, I'll tag the Fed. Good. The greatest dick in the land. You know what? Uh, is that a compliment? Or a... I, I'm going to take well, it as one. I was, I was hoping that I'd, <laughs> I, I was really hoping that I would go before Velrock. That way, I could tag Velrock and call him the greatest dick in the land. But I had to, I had to use it on a rude eye. <laughs> I oh, see. Thank you, thank you. That there's a reason you're still on the good list, and everybody else on this stream is on my shit list. I never um, said what kind of dick you were. Exactly. You said, the, you said the biggest sick. one. He said the biggest said, money. No. That's all I, I, said the, I said the greatest. It, this money we're raising yeah. is going to benefit the Muppetosis Foundation. It's going to help cure you. You should be thankful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be our, thankful. Our our hearts go out to you you ever Stop make. being such a 36. Stop being such a 36 and be thankful. That fucking number. Can I tell you that number keeps showing showing up in my like real life now everywhere I fucking go? I hate that number. number. I hate that <laughs> number just so scary. much. Oh, can I plug something really quick? So Eruda and I are going to be both playing Pokemon 
for my birthday. So on October 30th, we're going to have a God, Fed versus Savvy stream. And uh, we're going to have redeem Fed stories and everything like that. And we have a bunch of rules set up for him, including he has to sing me happy birthday. He has to address me as uh, queen or your highness. And, <laughs> and he Indian has us, to way. play... He has to like play the, like we're gonna we're That's both gonna play the friend. ramp decks. It's gonna be really fun, but um, but the idea is doing the streams. You guys help me figure out what rules uh to impose on Erudai, and it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be uh, we're we're both gonna be streaming or go both gonna be playing, and we're gonna have a blast. So I hope that you guys can join us. Um. If I am gonna also be opening presents, so if you want to send me something, just FYI through my throne wish list, even if there's not something there, even if you wanna send me something that's like five bucks or ten bucks, right? Like something small, you can use throne to choose whatever you want to send me um, through there, so it doesn't have to be anything on my list. So I will be opening presents during the stream. I'll I should do that whiskey. for my birthday. It's literally Saturday. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> yeah, why didn't you think of that? I'll be drinking whiskey. Seriously. And um, hey, thank you guys uh, for tuning in. I am your dungeon daddy. And uh, I'm very excited that you came here and uh, <laughs> um, watched our stream. And um, I hope you enjoyed everybody plugging themselves. Uh, it was fantastic, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys next time at Mummy's Mask. That's the next thing I'm doing, Mummy's Mask. I'll be playing Fatty Stir. Um, and who knows, maybe he's going to have a, a little bit of a Dungeon Daddy phase. I'm not sure. Um, but I will... Uh, God damn it, quit posting that number! I will see you guys <laughs> then! And... Uh, for now, just enjoy the stream ended clip because I'm still working on the credits. By the way, if you send fan art, some of you out there who are so talented and wonderful, please make some fan art so I can fill up our credit scene with all of your beautiful artwork of these characters. All right. Someone do fan art of Dungeon Daddy with a 36 on him. <laughs> yeah, I want to see him getting slapped by a bunch of spears. He, he, him getting branded with a 36. I think he'd be into it, honestly. Oh, and plugged. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, oh unplugged. Unplugged. Yep. I wish I would have just ended the stream before I said any of that. All right. Uh, take it <laughs> easy. We will catch you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Take care. See you next week.